And welcome to yet another stop on the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour here for the 2019-2020 season. We are San Juan, Puerto Rico. I am Ringe. This is Romanova. And we are here at First Attack. I'm excited to be here. I, this is my first time in Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah. Uh, things are getting wild. We got a lot of really good players, too, that came out to this. This is a Tenkaichi event. Yeah, we're winding down, right? So everybody's trying to get those points. All the big U.S. heavy hitters are here. Of course, some of the European competition as well. You mentioned Shanks oh, yeah. and Wawa in the yeah. bracket. Two people that are looking near unstoppable, especially Wawa. And then you got, like, Nakiel and the Kill Sage and some Atomic Sabers and Super Noon and Nakia and all kinds oh, yeah. of crazy folk from the U.S. as well. Yeah, I was saying El Padre está aquí. Oh, yes. He is in the building. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we'll see a lot of uh, really fun Android 18. And we got people that came out, I think, uh, also from Japan, I think. Oh, word. We got some Japanese competition say, like, in the building Tachikawa as well. Is out here. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I so. saw Noon Hutton for Tachikawa on Twitter yesterday yeah. trying to get them games in. He's trying to get them. I don't know if he got the games. I saw yeah. him playing with Apology Man. Uh, they were doing some uh, stream sets. That's right. Offline. That's right. Yeah. So I just, I just really hope that Apology Man got his Puerto Rican currency that he was looking for. Yo, I hope so too. You know what was cursed about my situation? Though, right? So I got here pretty late last night. I got here at 2.30 a.m. I got to the hotel about 2.45 a.m. That's The cursed. first person I saw was Vanith. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. Vanith at 2.30 a.m.? He was ordering Uber oh. Eats at 2.30 a.m. He came out to oh. meet the dude. I was like, word? I was like, this is how you're going to treat yourself before game day? 2.30 a.m. Uber Eats? All right. I guess he got that currency. So. He did. They handed it right. They handed him his uh, actual money. For those who don't know, they handed him his actual money right back to him. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you guys didn't see the so. tweet, his uh, teller actually took all the money that he gave her and then put them back in the envelope and then gave it right back to him. Yeah. Straight the, up. The milk there is cold. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. cold milk. He's not finding any warmth. So it, it looks like bank. we got our first match here on stream. Crank Gang God. Uh, that's a little, that's a cursed name right there. Crank Speaking Gang of cursed. Oh. Uh, and Hook is nowhere to be found to nope. talk about this My right man now. is streaming. He's probably restreaming right now. Shout out to Hook Gang God. And we got O.D. Ochaco. I was saying, I wonder if he's part of like the O.D. boys from uh, Florida. I don't, I'm not sure where he's from, but. Yeah, the only intel we have yeah. is that he's from the United States. So I think Florida is mm -hmm. a good read, right? Not too yeah. far from uh, Puerto Rico. About a two hour, two and a half hour flight. But he's got the, I, I don't know who, but I believe it's player one that has the, the fitted Vegeta and Goku shirt on. I see him. I see him. I guess that, yeah, that they would be uh, Crank, right? Crank Gang God. Crank Gang God. Crank Gang God. Yeah, from the super movie. Yeah. Hey. Ooh, oh, okay. We got Tohan. Okay, but we're not allowed to say that though. No, to no, to no, no I, I don't like saying that anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's like one of the rules of Nat Yell's uh, chat. Oh, you word? get banned okay. if you say Tohan. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the handshake, we're going into this. So we're gonna be saying a lot of Team Gohan today. We're gonna be saying it and oh, seeing yeah. it. Because he is definitely uh, risen when it comes to the popularity in this game. Do you think that it was uh, like the first person I saw really putting him back on the map was the Kill Sage? Do you do you believe that? The Kill Sage definitely was one of the the people that like he always believed in the character, right? So as soon as he got something that made him a little more cheap, like the auto combo, just going every which way, trying to chase you down no matter where you go, I definitely think he implemented that back into his game. And there's a couple other people that I'm just like not recalling off the top of my head at the moment that has definitely been rocking with the Team Gohan for a while. Yeah, you got that square. You got that square button unlocked. You're good. That's what I'm saying, bro. They gotta take advantage of the lords of the light button in this game. Bardock, Team Gohan. There's a there's like cannon v cannon here. Like Team Gohan, his real dad. Oh yes. And base Goku and base Vegeta against each other. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, all right. Oh, Time not flat and rock. Not today. We got a long way of Dragon Ball to go. They just want to get to the action. Bun checks are over. Wow, that base Goku assist. We've seen how strong it is, right? Of course, Wall Wall decimating everybody with that assist as well as his overall game plan. But Ochaka, oh, can't pick up the combo off the wall bounce. Yeah, he missed that extension there. There we go. Get the super dash. Are we going to see a snap? No, sliding knockdown. He's going to okay. take it. Oh, left the gap to vanish out. And yeah, Super Dash is into the beam. Wow, takes him down with a double axe hand. Now we're going to get a spark real quick. No 2A from the Super Dash. Yeah, I don't know if I agree there with that early spark gang. It's already uh, about to run out here. My man, Craig Gang God is pressing that Super Dash. Super I mean, neutral at least he indeed. played Piccolo here with dropping that kind of name, right? Oh. Yeah, that's true, right? He definitely is paying homage to the hook. Okay, Super Dash is in. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't OSing with the auto combo there, so he didn't get the pickup. Oh no, can't finish it. Come on, Crooked God. That was Team Gohan dead. 
Maybe it's a lot of uh, beginning nerves here, but the pressure is on here from Crank, and he gets the final hit there, killing Team Gohan, taking him out. Yeah, Chaco, just like, keeping it. Oh, he was actually wiggling a little bit, and up getting clipped by the delayed stream. Okay, I agree with that tag in. Get that blue health back on Piccolo, but that reflect does not hit. Yeah, but he's gonna bring the Piccolo back in here. Oh, yeah. Career really level health character. No 2 inch. He was on the ground. I thought he was going on the other side, but gets clipped trying to wiggle out once again. Yeah, it looks like he was definitely caught pressing the button there. All right. We're oh. setting up the Hell Zone grenades. Oh, sparking. Good job getting out of that. I definitely agree with that. Yeah, I don't mind seeing the sparking right there. Nice block as he held the bandage, and then again. Oh, Chaco, I think he's trying to hold up, get it clipped low. Sparking's kind of helped him save some of his uh, life here. Oh, Super Dash is through there. Yeah, he had the beam and the Piccolo of Orb, right? He can Super Dash through the Piccolo Orb, not so much the beam. So because Piccolo went into the sky, he ended up getting clipped instead of just staying on the ground, getting covered by that Kamehameha. Okay, going into the 2M. Oh, Super Dash through the Piccolo assist. I like that. You're playing some super neutral for sure. I mean, is there any other kind of neutral when you're playing Super Saiyan Goku? That's fair. That is definitely fair. Brooke, yeah, taking him down with the knees. Set up shop. Wow, catch the super dash again. I wonder if this has been a pickup. I, since I'm not familiar with this player, I've noticed that a lot more people have been going back to base Vegeta since Sonic Fox has picked him up. Yeah, I think Sonic showing some of the potential of the character, right? Making some people believe. Nice. Hit the first hit, just followed it up with the auto combo, made sure he was going to miss it. Okay, the extension here, going into sliding knockdown, level one Gallic Gun, going into the special beam cannon. Not gonna be enough to kill. Thought he was gonna up tech there. Yeah, it was definitely reading an up tech on Chakra just taking it to the ground. Does finally get rid of that Piccolo. Uh, right what into the, the Galakons? I don't know about that. Super Dash is through. Yeah, he already spent his Super Dash, right? So a smart tag for Super Saiyan Goku. The eyebrows are off. We're going into our first Goku level three of the day. <laughs> It's like the new Bardock level 3. <laughs> yeah, you see it all the time. The OP's not as good as the original Bardock level 3, but we just see it so much, and it is definitely one of the longer uh, cinematics, too, mm -hmm. I think. Most that oh, oh, Super Dash straight back to the ground. Oh, almost got the poke there. Great reflect. Oh, he almost made it over with the base Goku assist. Stop the jump in. That level 1's gonna take yeah. out base Vegeta. You know, each player could take this game still. Oh, absolutely. So we're saying Goku on the side of Chaco. One hit away from dying. Yeah, and has no meter to vanish. We just go to the 2M after Crank getting God again, trying to wiggle out, but nah, son. Oh, yeah, he ended up hitting with the jump medium right there. Didn't have any oh, follow up ready. He tried to 2 H, and the Key Blast is going to close it out. My man, Crank Game God is trying to move constantly, right? So it was a real good job by Ochako just staying consistent with the pressure right there, hitting him with the key blast from full screen, knowing that he's going to want to move. He started with the 5 base, trying to send a message. Oh, there we go. We got the hit. See if he can extend it. There we go. Oh, Ooh, missed the rest of that combo. But that auto combo from Kofan here. Of Just course. tracking you across the screen. Get the legs in here. No matter how far you are, whether you're vertical or horizontal, you will cover that distance. And wow. Crank, Crank didn't want to deal with uh, Team Gohan in the corner at all, so he already sparking. Yeah, and he called the assist while he was like floating over with Piccolo, but he got 2 H. However, he does get the snap out, and he's gonna set up shop with the hell on grenade. Oh, Ooh. and then catches him high. Chaco not spinning and sparking this time. Oh, I'll bring it to the ground. Goku is just available, adding that damage on and just lets him tech. Oh, okay. Vanishes out of the corner there. Wow, oh, wow. falling still... with the sword normal. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, usually those bad situations are real funky, right? When you hit it that high, a lot of times you're just encouraged to block because you're at negative frames. But man, he was like, I'm falling with a button. I can still press this, and it pays off with a kill on Goku. Yeah, no drops on that combo this time. So great finish there for uh, Cranking God in that 5 8 Starting off, we saw him start the 299 second round with it as well. Oh, oh. tried for the cheeky reset right there. Why him the tech next to him so he can get the Dragon Rush through there. Now we got the Kaioken. Oh, Kamehameha. 
And that's going to be the end there of Piccolo. Both players down to two each. Ochako, though, sitting on that sparking still. Tries to super dash in. Gets hit by base Vegeta. And that's a good look for Crane Game God here. Has plenty of meter, but he can't get the smash knockdown off the knees. Ooh, okay, Sparking does not want to deal with base Vegeta in the corner. I like that. He had the Goku assist ready as well, so he's going to have to eat more pressure. Try to start the key blast up and then get super dash from the start up. All right, getting base, base Goku out of there. Base Goku assist. We've seen so much work in the last year, I think, with base Goku, especially with Wawa, and how good that assist in general that move is. So probably a good character to get out of the way if you can. We're going to have enough for a level three here from Vegeta. Oh, toss him up. Yeah. Let's get that extended meter build on the toss-up. I like it. Galaxy Breaker. Yeah. Well, what's the two inch? Try to get him lost in lights here. Oh, and he challenges. Beats out the Dragon Rush as Craig Gengar was looking to get rid of that base Goku. I like that. Okay. Using direct Z change to get that unhealthy character out. Bring out Dad. Okay, backs off a little bit. Gets hit by the air key blast here. This could be a dead Team Gohan. Most definitely. Still gets the smash knockdown to so the teleport fist and then the Kamehameha to finish it. Now base Goku all alone, no sparking, does have one meter to his name. Oh, couldn't complete with the 2H right there, but he'll take it anyway. Great Gengar, tying up the first set just like that. Yeah, got opened up there by that 2M at the end. That protagonist so, 2M. First, first uh, game of the day here, we're going to a game three. That's what I'm talking about. Early action. We saw Ochako play very well in that first game. He played pretty well in the second game as well, but Crane Gang God fixed up a lot of uh, the recklessness, I think, that he played with in the first game. Played a little bit more conservative, played a little bit more slow, and was able to take the game because of it. I see a character change here. Well, my man went from one Lord of Light to the other, right? He had Team Gohan in the front, now he's got Bardock. We're pressing the square no matter what character it is. Yeah. Uh, that is a good observation. Square to square. Mm -hmm. right, I believe in Mexico they call it Quadra because it's a, oh. a square. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh God. Shout out to T.A. Wolf for that one. <laughs> I think I was playing, I, I actually think I was playing casuals against Wolf last night. Oh, really? Is yeah, he a yeah, Marvel, yeah. Marvel player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, he was telling me to shout out to the Atlanta, Atlanta boys because oh. he used to go there and play uh, uh, Marvel 3 at every final round. Yeah, so. Wolf is a great dude. If you ever find yourself at a Mexican tournament, definitely hit him up. He knows all the food spots. He has great hospitality. And he's here in Puerto Rico as well, so best of luck to him in the tournament. But again, this is game three. It's going to be Crane Gang God versus Ochako. Again, moving from the Team Gohan to the Bardock. I respect it. Stick with the strategy, but alter it just a little bit. He had to bring out the leg one. Indeed. Oh. Wow. I don't know about that. Going off the start there, but gets super dashed on by Piccolo here. Yeah, and he got caught using his own super dash right there. He's trying to take out the situation and get back in as quickly as possible. You can see him already putting the brakes on a little bit after that. Does get clipped by the 5 Oh, That could be it for Barda. Yeah, I don't know about this character switch right now. He's already getting to make quick work of. And at this point, I feel like Crank Gang God is not dropping as much as he was in the first game. Go right in the special beam cannon to finish him off. Bardock already out of here. Literally did no damage. Nothing. Man still got three green balls on the side. Wow, again, starting with that 5-H right there. Caught him in the air as well, so he had additional blocks then because of it. Oh, the super dash. Yeah, looking for that protagonist 2M right there. He's too far away. Flipped him. All right, got to get the hell grenades to extend that. Okay, sliding knockdown. Got the ball out. Sparking. Oh, he's trying to group him up. Nice. Hell's the bed. She get the full combo as well. Yeah, it gives him this corner positioning, but I don't know how for how long. Okay, there we go. He almost secured the hit there, but then he got the jump in. Yeah, he just kept him locked down with the block center, right? Even though he missed the combo, still right. had to block all that. The Kaioken is out. Here we go. Oh, yeah. going right into level three. Yeah, he wants to make sure he goes down. He wants to clean his plate today. Uh, Chaco already spent his sparking. It's early and he's hungry. Oh, yeah. I need to find Puerto Rican cuisine myself, to be honest. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to get some of that earlier. Everyone posting their food pics. Get out of here. It's definitely making me jealous. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally jealous. Smash here. No beer to follow it up. Okay. Oh, yeah. I made a block that in the air. There's a whole lot of blocks. That nice block in the 6M. Challenges afterwards. Ended up anti-airing with the 2L. 
You always gotta love the, the jab and tears. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the best feeling too if somebody super dashes in and you jab them uh, out of the super dash. Oh yeah. Ooh, okay, so, speaking of super dash. Yeah, Chocolate not want to steal the meter there, rather keep the corner. Man, that base Goku assist is good. Clears yeah. the screen entirely. You, you want to go in the air. Not today, not with base Goku out there. Smashing him down again, makes him okay. jump oh, okay. right back into it. Yeah, he got the hit there with that jump heavy into the key blast. All right, that should be it. He's got teleport behind him. And uh, Chocolate down to just one character. Crank getting God with the sparking available as well. He's a commanding lead. <laughs> oh, throws out the Kamehameha. Yeah, we're just back dashing. Got punished for that Dragon Rush that he whipped. Yeah, it was the second hit of the auto combo as well, so you can see fat damage on that. Wow, he actually pressed buttons after blocking and sparking in the air. That means he's negative, but challenging regardless. Look at him. Okay, with the hard knockdown. Oh, I thought he was going to be able to two age. Instead, man, she's in there, gets the reflect of the 2M punish right there. Get another medium starter. That means Goku is dead. That was very smart. Yeah, he did a great job there reflecting and then doing the punish. But, oh, and that 2H, though. This is going to be damage. That was beautiful. It's in there, back dash. Gets level one of the spear boss. Well, no 2H on the other side of that, man. And he super dashes in. Here, are we going to see... A level? No, he vanished. Yeah, he doesn't have any level 3 to go further, but he does get a level 1 into one more bar. He has it. He's going to spin it at the end of the super. I think that's a dead Vegeta most definitely. Oh, Chaco taking it 2-1. What a comeback there. Yeah, Crank Game God was looking commanding in that third game, but the base Goku bringing it back. Real clutch from Ochako at the end right there, right? Both players look a little shaky throughout the set, but Ochako able to clutch it out in the end. Yeah, I thought that there was a really good mix there of you saw Crank Gang God adapt for a second, and his Piccolo was not dropping nearly as many no. combos as the, as the first game. Yeah. And then in the end, it just wasn't enough. No, most definitely, most definitely. Couldn't beat the base coup. And I give props to me and you for still talking about that after we just saw Nakio dab in front of us. I was a little yeah, caught off guard. Yeah, that personally. like the theme of today might be cursed. Uh, yeah, it seems yeah, like it, right? Was, I saw beneath when I first cursed. got here. Nakio just dab it at me. I don't know what's happening here, but I believe yeah. he's coming to the stage now. The snack dab. The snack dab. Oh the man. Snack dab. I'm not sure if I'm a fan or if that's cursed. Do you dabble in snacks? Yes. <laughs> 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 Indeed, I do. I'm a normal human being. Yeah. I love me some snacks. I need some yeah. Puerto Rican snacks, man. Well, speaking of some snacks, we do have Nakia, like we said, going up here against Get Good. Get Good. I wish I was sponsored by Get Good. <laughs> Get Good with the J Gohan. J Gohan. Was it the J Junior He's Gohan? Maybe, maybe, maybe he plays Team Gohan. That would be appropriate, right? Mm -hmm. But we're gonna see Nakia uh, rocking the Adult Gohan, which is always very exciting. I love this Panda Global jersey, by the way. Panda Global always got some sick jerseys, That's man. a good color blue. Yeah. I like that blue. I like that better than the... They've had the green ones for a while, and then they had, like, red ones, but I think the blue... Yeah, it's, it's definitely nice. the best. Real nice, indeed. Clean. So we see Nakio step up to the plate as well. Nakio, I think, someone that has not had the results that he's been looking for in the Saga events, but it seems like when it's not a Saga event, he's always in the upper echelon of the results. So we can see if he can get it together here in Puerto Rico, try to get some of those big points. On yeah. some space as well, get towards the center of the screen. He almost won uh, Siotaku. He was yes. uh, he was in winner side of grand finals, but yeah. Fox was just able to make that comeback from the loser side. That's right, his roommate. It'd yeah. be like that. If, if, if it's gonna be somebody to take you out, it would make sense that it's your roommate that you probably do play with, and they probably learn your bad habits. Yep. You know. And then Nakia Lee just won this week's Next Level Battle Circuit as well in New York City. I believe Lord Knight got second place. Lord Knight also here in San Juan, Puerto Rico for first attack. Yeah, we got we got a lot of heavy hitters. Lord Knight's out here. We were talking about uh, Dekill Sage. Mm, no Kami came out. Oh, no Kami yeah. in the building. That's time, Alucard. man. Alucard. Alucard's Alucard. here. Oh. Finally made it out to a tournament. I know he's been uh, not feeling too well like yeah. for a while, so it's nice to see Alucard out here again. Yeah, definitely. He's been on the stream grind as well, so I know that Alucard's been putting in work when it comes to Dragon Ball Fighters, hoping he has a fantastic showing here in Puerto Rico. But right now, it looks like we are getting into it. Both players got their game face on. Nakio versus Jay Gohan. Of course, Nakio on the second player side, playing that cheap team, as he should. 
And he's been so consistent with the extensions on that Gohan. He says, of course, shouldn't be a surprise, right? He's been rocking the adult Gohan throughout the game's lifespan. Oh, yeah. I mean, you've been playing adult Gohan from the beginning. That's just a good choice to begin with, let alone adult Gohan still very, very strong in this game. And when you pair him with Kid Boo and GT Goku, you are just locking people down for days. Not only do you have the assist for GT Goku, but you have Gumball. Oh, beautiful third overhead. Jay Gohan finally thought he could crowd block, but no, son, he did not. Rocky out doing work with the Kid Boo. This character's point game is just so controlling. And then again, the whip into the stop. Has one of the best whip punish tools in the game, especially after the reflect with the stop. We've seen how effective that is since the game launch. Okay, going into the level one here. And powering up Gohan to level one. Always a great choice. Oh, the stare down. Yeah, it looked like he was looking for the up tech height on that one. But Jay Gohan switched it up. All right, you are locked down here, my man, and the 2M is going to get the hit there for Nakiel, taking out this Bardock, looking like a perfect right now for... Yeah. Yeah, yeah Nakiel set up the empty jump below. I believe Kid Boo like, took a some chip there, so I don't know if he'll get the credit for the perfect. He definitely won't now. Yeah, he definitely won't now. <laughs> if somebody's going to get you a little bit of damage there, and that 2M is going to open him up there. we got three bars on deck, so we see a level three. No, no, no level three. Holding on to it, knows one more combo would have finished it. Gohan, but catches the reflect of the dragon rush. Because, oh, not going to switch. Oh, don't Gohan back in, actually. Just going to take the damage on the Kid Blue again. Not giving up the corner. Okay, great reflect there. Vanish from Nakio. Super Death and gets the hit here with Kid Boo. And, of course, using the H-Mystic Ball to extend. That's another great thing about Kid Boo is that even when you get these scrambling hits and then the back dash into the 2H baits out the super dash, and that's gonna be it. Five bars on deck, extends with the T or excuse me, the GT Goku, and now it's over. Oh, oh no, yeah, I, I guess maybe yeah. he was trying to go for the other level one. It, it still looks very bleak there, because there it is. Nakiel closing out game one here. I assume he uh, like called Gohan for the super instead of GT Goku, and Gohan was still out there for the assist. So. Yeah. Didn't get the uh, Z change as he wanted. Okay, the cross up here with Zamasu. Yeah, let's, let me see some work. Oh, dropping early and wow. Comboed off that Gohan with the preemptive super dash. Just had faith in it hit it. And even if it doesn't, right? As long as he blocks, he's going to get the mix up afterwards anyway. Ooh, get some with the overhead there. Yeah, the 2S, and then once he was in the air, air dash cancel into the overheads. Jay Gohan thought he had more room. You never really do up against Kid Boo. Okay, we're going to level up Gohan here. Really good choice again to make. That was a nice reflect guy on the scenario. Oh, I love the 5S. Yeah, got him with the palm there. Oh, gets him with the heavy legs. Huge this is gonna be, starter. Yeah, this is going to be huge. Oh, he drops it though? Doesn't matter. Yeah, he was going for the real optimal stuff. One of that jump age, bring him back down to an assist. Look at these legs. Gohan never skipping leg day. Most definitely. That's why Nagi, that's Nagi on stream title every time I see him stream. Oh, that is leg day? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, the oh. late air dash, Jay Gohan. Yeah. He had hit him with the empty jump low earlier in the set ride, so he was looking for that again. Well, he got the jump light that time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He went with the overhead, switched it up. You know, uh, Jay Gohan oh. is just trying to put up the fight there, but it's just, uh, he's going to be locked down here. He gets oh. hit by the jump medium. And even before that, he got hit by the jump medium. The glutes hit him with a cross-up. That was crazy. Now, knock out Jay Gohan down to just one character. He's already up a game as well. It's a good look to start the tournament. Looking to stagger here. Not sure what he's going to do. Goes for the jump medium. Great tech there from Nakio. Oh, great 2-H. Nakio caught trying to super dash in there, I think. Yeah, that was a very close super dash as well. Great reaction from Jay Gohan, even on a 2-H now. I guess Nakio kind of has enough uh, momentum here to kind of risk something like that. For you know? sure. Oh, yeah, you can see he's feeling a little frisky, right? Feeling a little froggy. He's waking up, mashing the buttons, knows he has life to spare. And then Jay Gohan actually drops the kill on the Gohan. Yeah, he's going to bring out Kid Boo, get some of that blue health back just in case. Almost, almost was able to confirm off those key blasts there. Ooh. And the super dash in. Here we go. Yeah, Nakio has five bars on deck, two wrench. Oh, yeah. Plenty of meter. Not going to spin a single bar yet, though. Wants to start up a combo and kill with all that meter he's got. H makes the ball to keep the pressure up. My oh, goodness. How long can he keep this defense up, though? And he gets the super dash. I got to give props.
drops to him. Yeah. Jay Gohan really helped himself in the corner, but it does not look good now for him at all. Yeah, I'm not sure if he was calling out like to wake up into backdash with that 5H right there, but he committed to a heavy recovery move, and because of that, Nakio able to punish it on wake up, and it's all over. 2-0 to Panda Global Zone. Good stuff to Nakio, looking real clean and crisp here. Mm. In the first round of Dragon Ball Fighters, that first attack 2019. That's how he's going to need to look if he wants to take home a fat chunk of points. Yes. He like played really kidding. solid, but we'll have to see, you know, it, it's going to be a lot harder when you play, especially those people that Nakiel plays a lot in the tour. Yeah. You know, when Nakiel has to play, like, you know, Lord Knight, like the other day, that, that could be a potential upset, right? Yeah. So we're just going to have to see how it unfolds here today. But exciting news. We were talking about Wolf. Yeah. And now, up on stream, we are going to get Wolf coming all the way from Mexico. Yeah, the wiretap is in. They are listening to the commentators throughout the venue, and they are bringing Wolf to the stage for us. Again, from Mexico, let's travel out here from or to Puerto Rico for first attack, trying to get some of those Dragon Ball Fighters points, get into the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour, which, of course, is happening in beautiful France. I can't wait for that as oui, well. Oui. Yes. Uh, oui, oui. I've only been to France once, and it was like 10 years ago, so hopefully I get to go back. It's definitely quite the country. I, I enjoyed my time there. Yeah, parlez-vous français? How many languages do you know? No, that's like all the French I know. I do oh, know Spanish man. pretty decent though, okay, which okay. is nice because I'm in Puerto Rico, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I've been like actually like low key getting a little bit better mm -hmm. from watching the Barcelona fighting uh, streams. Oh. So I'll like watch and tune in and just from like listening, I'll remember words that I learned from when I was in like high school yeah. playing. So Wolf Wolf waving oh, at us snap. here. He remembers the casuals we played. So if he plays the team that he was playing last night, we're gonna see Team Gohan, Brawly and Super Saiyan Goku. That sounds right. I believe yeah. that is the team he usually runs in tournament. He likes the big bodies as well. Yeah. Uh, he used to play Hagger and Marvel, so Broly obviously a natural fit for him when he's looking for the big bodies in this game. And Broly a pretty dangerous character, right? We've seen the Kill Sage, oh, he yeah. won Thunderstruck with the character. So we're gonna see if Wolf puts it down as well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sharpie would like that right there. <laughs> Obviously these two players letting you know where they come from, right? This is fun. And is, is he wearing a, a shirt with Dio on it? He most definitely is. <laughs> I, and we I, got the Pulp Fiction shirt on the other side, man. But I just watched Pulp Fiction the other day. Man, what a throwback. This is wild. All right. So we got Wolf versus King Crab. <laughs> King Crab. Of I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I was, um, when I was playing, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. We played six games. Okay. All right. I took one. Oh, where, yeah, they, Wolf's good. And they yeah. and they were like, you're playing the team of the father. The I, father? Because I, I play Shanks' team. Oh, yeah. So El Padre. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sky Wolf, yo. <laughs> he, he's uh, trying to make everyone at home uh, cry wolf. Ow. Ooh. What if he it's played Yamcha? I was yeah. going to say, it's a shame you don't play Yamcha, man. Definitely, definitely. Oh, that's right. He do be liking the Vegito, too. I forgot. That yeah. was um. That was it. Yeah. He. So, oh, Vegito. Okay. Well, so he played Team Gohan, and then he he also plays uh, Vegito. He oh, he okay. he switched when we were playing, so he plays both. So we're gonna see. He's gonna start it out with the Vegito, right? Of course, the obnoxious pressure that this character can bring and really frustrate the opponent. That's a very long block trees again. That 5L, so many hits, very active. It is like a pretty committal move, though, right? If you do uh, press it at the wrong time, you can get punished pretty easily. Yeah, and just from seeing his playstyle last night, what he likes to do is he likes to play Vegito as much as he can out there, and he will throw out that Brawly assist first, and then you get locked down with the five light legs, yeah. the little tap dance there with uh, GT Goku Beam on deck. So, gonna have to deal with that pressure on the side of King Crab there. Yeah, I have to imagine that's the strategy we're gonna see on the other side. King Crab rocking the Bardock, the Ginyu, and the Broly. So we got Broly on both sides now. Oh, two each, two characters. That's a happy birthday, too. Gonna snap out, get some of that. No, no go for the sliding knockdown. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't just take it further, but all right, Wolf's not discouraged whatsoever. Just instant air dashes in and gets the hit. And most definitely, Wolf's combo is not gonna be cut short here. He's got Vegito with two assists available. Gonna build, build that, that meter, too. And we're gonna toss him down. I feel like even with the nerfs to Vegito, that he just still builds an amazing meter off of what he does. Most definitely. Toss him back again. Not gonna have nothing here to get the kill here. Just locks him down once more. You see, that's what he was looking for last time, but it hit. Vash tried to avoid the super dash. He ended up getting hit anyway. Ooh. The raw attack, I should say. Gets that dash into the jump light, too, to get that hit there. Crab ended up spinning a meter a little bit prematurely right there. If he just got the smash knockdown into double super, it would have been it for Vegito. Oh, oh, what a 2-H that is. 
I love Broly's 2 H animation. It's so it's so <laughs> di diminishing to your morale. Like yeah. when you get 2 H by Broly, it, it's like it's literally getting kicked in your face. Yeah. The man puts all his body weight on that one arm <laughs> and just sends you to the sky. A nice command grab into the chest pump afterwards. King grabs Bardock is down. It's like he's a b-boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, most you definitely. Know, like he's breaking, he like busts a move. Yeah. yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Man, give Broly more breakdance moves. Now, I'd like to see here from Ginyu, I'd like to see more of the Ginyu force out. There we go. We have Goldo out, but 2 each again. Oh, yeah. The Goldo. most powerful. Goldo's got a pretty fat hitbox on that. Uh, I don't know really what to call it, but the thing that catches you in paralysis, basically. But he, uh, not quite far enough on that one. Oh, 2H again. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know about, I think that was a raw tag, too. I, yeah, I, I don't know about the raw tagging in, especially when you've been punished so many times uh, now. And then the reset. Oh, my goodness. Chucks the plasma at him after the ground bounce. I didn't even know that worked. Oh, oh. chucks him again. He's looking for the up text, not going to give it to him anymore. I'll say, too, that's one thing that I noticed when I did play that set with Wolf, that he will look for that up tech and yeah. he will get you punished for it every time, whether it's an air to air or a 2H. You cannot up take against this guy. He's oh, looking, just what? The body's wrong? Yeah. Oh, he missed it! Oh, did no. he get the punish? Oh, he just 2H is the end of the auto combo. That would have been so hype if he actually got the body swap and then became Brawly. That would be. I would have believed in him. I'm like, okay, he can bring this back. Oh, GT go Kudo, the assist. <laughs> Catching them and killing them. <laughs> Look at the. These guys, they can't keep a straight face right yeah. now. <laughs> he crab trying to sneak in that cheeky body switch. Hopefully, we can see it. I want to see him combo into it, y'all. Okay, gets the super dash here. Yeah. <laughs> super dash is right through that. Oh, okay. Yeah, man, catching him with the jump L, tried to get the Rebellion Spear after 2-H, but that's not how that works. 2-H from Wolf, though. Yeah, caught again, super dashing in. King Crab really needs to stop super dashing in. Yeah. Again, just lost his dash. He wants to not take that, but you have to. It's just what Vegito does. You just have to wait your turn. You got to bet on Wake Up Reflex. Ooh. Just tries to drag the rush. Got him out of the corner with a 5-L, catches the recovery oh, no. anyway. We got pauses. Desync your controllers. <laughs> they're both they're both looking at each other like, come on, Wolf looking to the crowd like, why are you? Here? He's like, there's been one stream match, two stream matches. Why are we already getting pauses? I'd blame Nakiel, but he doesn't play a pad, yeah. so he <laughs> we can't blame him right now. We just. <laughs> You mentioned earlier, right? Wolf, coming from a Marvel background, yeah. has had a lot of success in three. Obviously, King Crab coming from the Skullgirls background, both of these players really enjoying the team aspect of the games, right? But we have a controller situation that seems to not be fixed just yet. So they're consulting with one of our TOs to make sure everything gets going as it should be. Xbox 360 controller from Wolf. I forgot about that. A lot of the Marvel players like to use that controller. Yeah, I, I noticed that. It has the adapter and everything. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was trying to tell me to go back to Atlanta and tell uh, my boy Dap. Dap oh, Dip. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, Dip, like, yeah. he was like, make sure you tell him that uh, Iron Man sucks. <laughs> and I was like, man, you're trying to really bring the shade here. You know, but it, it's a great scene. We were talking about all the Marvel boys. And like, and I was, I was explaining that that is how I got so good at Dragon Ball was from moving to Atlanta mm -hmm. and playing with those old Marvel people that switched to Dragon Ball. Oh, yeah. yeah. And like, those people leveled me up so fast, like mm -hmm. Blackwork, uh, Dap Vip, and uh, Chewy, yeah. uh, Jazz Rap, Scrap Vermillion. All those people are just amazing players. Uh, I don't actually think Scrot played Marvel, though. But regardless, strong scene, and he knows it. But yeah. wants to insult the Iron Man, though. All, <laughs> all the players coming from those games where you can call assists, right, and it's a 3v3 background, they're just so good at playing the neutral in that type of environment that it translates very well to Dragon Ball Fighters. They're just used to managing assists, even with the longer cooldown that assists have in this game compared to other versus games. Absolutely. And it looks like we're finally going back into the game here. Had to take a minute to fix the controller situation that we had. Yeah, I don't know. They went to the Bluetooth devices. I didn't see any dual shocks, but uh, I don't know what's going on. Maybe King Crab planned this. He was like, he told a buddy, like, you know, yeah. don't desync your pad. So if I'm looking, exactly, He's grim in this game too. Taking advantage of Wolf's hospitality that we talked about earlier, right? Wolf's like, no, we'll just play again, man. It's no big deal. And we'll see. King Crab, though. You thought it was a desync, but it was me, King Crab. <laughs> <laughs> Channeling the shirt. <laughs> the villain status. Okay, has 
team assist out there. And yeah. That was good spacing from Wolf though, right? Just staying out of range of that assist. Oh, oh nice challenge. Yeah, that five light. Not many people, I think, are going to normally win that challenge against five light with Bardock. Yeah, unfortunately for King Grab, whipping the come down buns. I like that. Toss it back into the corner nice and early. Oh, the two amp starter. That's big damage. And he must have been looking there to, to like try and hit a button, but he was locked down. He was locked down. Yeah, all the way locked down. Toss him back. Gonna be two bars. Not enough for the kill here, so he's not gonna spend any meter. Again, oh. man, yeah, that is the stuff with Vegeta, right? As soon as you wake up, he just goes jump S with the bowling assist, gets the air dash mix up after that. King Crab hasn't woken up with a reflect either. No, that I, you, I totally agree. I would like to see him reflect more. I really haven't seen him really try to do it at all yet. Yeah, he's exactly. trying to either up tech or vanish out. It can be a risk, right? But I mean, you got to show that you're willing to do it. Switch up the meta. Wow, he uses the vanish instead of the 2 H. Toss him back into the board. Toss him right back out. That's why you can't up tech against this man. He also plays Vegito. Yeah. He will just grab you out there. Same with Broly. Yeah, we are like looking for a GDA reset right there. But gets the jump H against all TA Wolf here in the second game. Oh, oh the super oh, oh. on the 2 H. Oh, misses the Dragon Rush there in the air. <laughs> right in range there. Gets the hit. Level 1. Level 1. Bringing Vegeta back out. The long lights on Broly, right? Whether it's 2L or 5L. A lot of horizontal distance on those. He will interrupt. And now King Crab down to just 1. He started off with a parry. But he got owned by the Saiyan Spirit. He's trying to steam. <laughs> He's trying to steam this crab right now. I like how you couldn't even keep it together. I, <laughs> you laughed halfway through your joke. The, the crab like, was man. too strong. You're like, man, this is pretty good. <laughs> King Crab taking it down. All right, all right. All right. At least he's on the board now, right? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. we got him on the board. And they, he really like forced his scramble pace, and I think it worked out in his favor for sure. But TA Wolf all right back in, just tries to wiggle, but ends up getting caught by the 236S and forced to go forward. All right, you got a present for him. Level three. The evil laugh. That was the setup afterwards. Oh, the late streak. Oh, wow. right into the dragon rush. That was very, very brave of him to do. Drops the combo. Oh, I like that punish from Wolf right there. It's going to be air command grab and the key blast to finish it off. Close Too it out old. there. To TA Wolf. Good stuff indeed. Wow, that is quite the combo he has with the shirt and the hat, I must say. Good stuff to Wolf. We'll be moving on in winner's bracket as we move along here. First attack on this Dragon Ball Fighters Tenkaichi stop. How you doing, Romanova? I'm doing good. I am I'm hydrated. I'm I'm fed. I had some great breakfast here in Puerto Rico. That's tight. You know, shout outs to the cafes, the local cafes. Yeah. And the uh, Cafe Con Leche. Did you have like yeah. a, a beautiful view as well? I feel like it's yes. hard to go anywhere around here Everything's without. Everything's beautiful. Yeah. I found some uh, <laughs> stray cats. Oh. Yeah, there was sick. like a family of stray cats. And I was like, why are all these cats together? And then I saw the culprit. Somebody must be feeding them. I found like a big uh. thing of like cat food in a bush that How was like sweet. by the like water yeah. and everything. How sweet. So yeah, these stray cats, they were they were they were cool cats. That's dope. They were some cool That's cats. Dope. Hopefully they stop by and yeah. check out are some you of the doing, tournament. Are later. you doing all right? I'm doing great. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, we you are energized? Here. Hell yeah. Okay. San Juan, Puerto Rico, we are here. First attack. We already had Naki on stage. We already had Wolf on stage. And now we're gonna have Wawa from France on stage. How could I not be excited? Viva la Wawa. Oh yes, indeed. Versus TK Breaker now. Wawa, I'm sure all y'all been tuning in to these uh, Saga events, these Tenkaichi events, that Wawa has been uh, just wrecking shop at. He's been an amazing player, one of the most inspiring Dragon Ball Fighters players in the business, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm sure, like, EU is going wild right now in chat. Yeah, I mean, he's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Goichi. He looks like he is top three in this game, I would say so. Oh, yeah. When it comes to and, Wawa. And uh, he just took a tournament. Yeah. He took a Celtic Throwdown? Yeah. Uh, was or it no. Celtic? No. He got it was, second um, in Celtic Throwdown, I believe. Oh my gosh. What was it? Uh, it was a tournament where EGX? Shanks, EGX, I EGX? think it was. And uh, Shanks beat Sonic Fox there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Big ups to Wawa. He's been holding it down. Of course, with the base Goku, but this man knows how to play like the entire cast, right? Which is a very uh, beneficial in pretty much any fighting game you explore. Knowing how to play all of the cast will. Put you in the mindset of what your opponent wants to do, no matter who they're running. So because of that, Wawa, I think, has a good read on his opponent a lot of the time, knows what the characters are capable of, and he has just looked like an expert when it comes to Dragon Ball Fighters. 
And I, I've seen TK Breaker before. I'm not, I can't put my finger on it, but I, I'm familiar with this player somehow. I'm trying to like figure out what tournament or whatnot that I have Is either that seen this guy on a stream. Is that the Crystal Pendant? Is that like an Arcade Focus? Or are we gonna get some know. spells being it's, cast? It's pretty, it's pretty nice. It is. And then of course, Wawa also recently sponsored as well, so big ups to his sponsor as well. We will see it on the screen, I'm unfamiliar. That's why I'm not saying it just yet. But yeah, we're gonna see the base Goku from him. He's not playing any games just yet. This is gonna be the usual squad. We'll see when he's more familiar with the opponent, a lot of the times he'll run a different team. Probably has a read on his opponent with what they're good at dealing with, and oftentimes he'll counter it. But right now he's going with the usual stuff. What we you? We got the base Goku. Yeah, what well, we're used we to seeing. Got the base him Goku. With. And then the Gohan, and then the Super Saiyan Goku in the back as well. I feel like almost everyone at this point has switched from. I think at the beginning of the life of the game, like year one, a lot of people were using Super Saiyan Vegeta as their anchor. Oh, like yeah. that was the most common anchor I felt like we saw for a while. Yeah. And now it's the. It's the year of Super Saiyan Goku. Yes. People have gotten much better at using beam assist. And then, of course, the Vegeta assist at the beginning. I mean, I'm, you had to use it. It was so good. Had to receive some changes ever since, right? And I think it's still a strong assist, but definitely not what it... It doesn't do what it once did. So, when it comes to the lockdown, at least. So, now Wawa on the Gohan. Already Ooh. using that Super Saiyan Goku to perfection. And then, yes, the assist Ooh. extension with a base Goku. And he was so fast there, too, of getting up, making sure that if he pressed the button, he was going to get hit. Oh, and the fastball going into 2M. Yeah, man, Wawa testing him early, right? Didn't even have an assist to cover that. Just wanted to see how TK Breaker would react to it. He reacted a little bit too late. Three bars on deck with the extension on the Goku. That is a dead base Vegeta just like that. Wow. Uses the Masenko to extend it. Going for oh, the Kaio Pen. Are you get the pose? Yes. Toss him away. Cannon. Cannon. And Wawa is a scientist, right? He knows exactly what combos he needs to two touch you, as you can see, just like that. Oh, now, one up. thing I just realized I would like to see if Wawa dominates this game is Wawa to get a dramatic finish. I think this is a stage Ooh. that you can against the base Vegeta with base Goku. I want to say, don't quote me on it, okay, but okay. I want to say I think this is one of the ones that has a dramatic finish between them because it's from the beginning. And here we go, Wawa getting a hit. The way that base Goku moves you, right? It's very hard to tell where the Gohan's going to end up. End up whipping the cross up. Gets the empty low afterwards. Dude, every side, every side <laughs> that assist covers. <laughs> and the instant fastball, just enough for the animation to think you got a block high. So unfortunate, and man, TK Breaker, Breaker's Trunks is also dead, has so much meter on deck. Dragon Rush extension. I really love the use, too, of Wawa's fastballs. Like, yeah. almost every, every assist going out, if he wasn't going to extend off of it from a hit, he was just fastballing to try and get like a 2M or something in there. Now we got the base Goku. Time to put on a show for the fans. Yeah, the shining star of the show here. But we got Goku Black on deck here. Vanishes. Does not extend off of that. Probably was hoping Wawa would have pressed the button, but Wawa gets the hit. Yeah, TK Breaker, oh man, suffering the auto combo. Wawa always got something. Oh, oh, and he fades out the spark and punishes it. That invulnerability on the teleport elbow. Oh, gets caught vanishing by that assist there. And Wawa was ready with the 2 wave, so even if he didn't get clipped by the assist, he was still getting punished. Wow, he tried for the elbow right there. Stay in the air a little bit longer, so he managed to avoid it. He jabs him out of that right there. What are we going to see here? Backs off. Gohan is back in. Oh, gets the 5-8. I think he got the first one in the air right there. So Wawa, take advantage of that extended block stun. Just go with the 5-H again. Oh, pop the spark after the jump age punish. Come on, Wawa. Why are you so Goes with the elbow down there to close it out. Wawa taking a very convincing game one here. Little stuff like that just shows me how, like, much Wawa is not autopiloting, right? When he just gets the jump back and punish into the spark, like he's never just, like he never has a game plan that he follows to a T, right? He has adjustments based on what his opponent is going to do at all times. Absolutely. Very, very dope to see. He's very good at situational awareness and just being ready. 
Yeah, that's wild. He's one of the best players I've seen in Dragon Ball Fires when it comes to stuff like that. See. PK Breaker taking some time. I like this. No need to rush right back into it. Switching up the squad heavily as well. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Interesting. So it looked like he was going to keep the base Vegeta on the squad, but at the last second decides against it. Going to bring the Goku Black back out. I like it. I still really like Goku Black. Um, it's interesting to see Cell played on anchor and Goku, Goku Black. Black played on point. For sure. Yeah, that's something. Uh, I feel like almost anyone that plays Cell, he's either, he's usually on point, I feel like. Yeah, most definitely. Because Cell uses the assist so well, right? Yeah. And a lot of time he needs it just to make his point a game function very well. But instead, he's going to be on the anchor position. We usually see Goku Black in an assist spot because of that beam, right? So definitely an unorthodox order for TK Breaker. Let's see if he makes a payoff, though. Okay. Oh, get some hit there by Gohan. We're going to extend it. So confident every single combo he does. Wawa always got. I can't believe the amount of space that you also still cover from the uh, base Goku assist. Exactly. After it extends, like you still have time. And I love that for Wawa too. <laughs> Z changed in to a Goku just to get the DHC back into Gohan to get that level up. Oh my goodness. Gets it with the palm. The it with the palm. Uh, Optima all the way through as well. Ends up killing even with the meter scale. No super necessary. Wow. Wallet is on fire already. Oh, gets up with the jump medium in the air there. And look at that. He's so optimal with every hit he gets. Goes with the assist extension, able to get the dragon rush. Puts Cell in a position where he's going to be all alone in the corner. Doesn't have to escape it. Oh, uh, he's caught in the air again. Not letting TK Breaker move at all. Smash knockdown with the back fist. Oh, goes for the fastball. He's sparking out. Did TK Breaker just trying to get some of the suppression off of him. Well, some breeze oh, through. finally gets a hit here, but... Oh, when you get a hit on Wawa, you got to make it count, my man. Yeah, he was not able to optimize off of that. Okay, Wawa Spark just to not have to deal with that. Probably to risk it, looking in a good position here. Gets the vanish hold. Little stuff, yeah, not calculating the meter correctly, but gets the gets the air dash anyway and takes Cell down. Yeah, the jump light uh, knocks Cell right over the dome, sending him into oblivion. Because Wawa figured the meters wouldn't kill on that last combo, he has six to deal with this brawl. Where you pathetic worms? Where you think you and that's one of those things, too, if uh, Wawa can get Broly into the corner, I, I'm pretty sure uh, Adult Gohan is one of those characters that can fuzzy. Oh, yeah. yeah. He'll definitely be able to get the jump L right into the legs. Oh, yeah. Get the corner loops going, work out the like, panties. Look at this. This could, oh. Oh, this, is, this could easily kill. Yeah, we got the spirit bomb. This, yeah. this yeah, is a dead. lot of damage. He's dead. Oh, oh. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. takes it 2 up. I mean, we call him a scientist in game one, right? Using the level ups that ex extended damage from Gohan, then into Goku, then into the spirit bomb. Perfectly calculated. That describes Wawa to a T. Yeah, and this he, this kid just goes and he, yeah, he just goes and smiles, and he's just like ready to have a good time shaking hands. So mm -hmm. that's how Wawa gets down, man. You see him <laughs> making like, quick work of his opponent. I'm sorry, I had to do that to you. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, don't worry, many of bodies will join you in this bag that I just put you in. So we'll see more of that in a little bit. But we are taking our first break here on Twitch.tv slash Dragon Ball Fighters. Don't go anywhere as we continue with the action here at First Attack. If his vision is blurry, <laughs> remove the his offense is, his offense is uh, triples. That's the weight in clothing. Yeah, took yeah, off yeah. The, the, the shades, you know? <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's see Gohan. Gohan. <laughs> you I gotta see an advance. Nah. If we advance, Sage Se doesn't play him anymore. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Let's go. Okay, the pressure. Oh, overhead, my turn. And oh. he jumped up, so it's definitely his favor. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Back dash for the safe jump. Oh, the low this time. To the legs. That was kind of cheap. To the legs, into legs. Uh, there we go. Ooh, okay, bomb. The okay. Oh, I love those. You got another one, another one. Oh, no, this DP at the end. That's it, he's done. Hell yeah, he's done. Hot, like hot cakes. Finish. Dance. Wow. 
Wow, wow. <laughs> Sage right looking, on. looking ridiculous right now, smoking that boot early on. And that's one huge part of the puzzle gone. No more assists, no more lockdown. Yeah, that's true. Brody powers up. Let me let, oh, okay, super dash right through. Good reactions there from Dakota. Let me tell you, super dash against Broly, very, very risky. Super uh -huh. risky. Oh, oh, there we go. Let's <laughs> go, the Larry at home. Uh, 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 uh. It's gonna be. Oh, we got a DP. See how late that hit? Just like that. For breakfast. What's for breakfast? Oh. Wake up, DP. IAD, Sage, going to work right now. Dobra looking a bit flustered in the chair. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Yo, this is the gap free, B. The, the post before the super? Nah, come on. Go hard and 2 sick. Look at Sage. That man, I see the aura surrounding Sage right now. He ain't oh, playing yeah. no games. Oh, my God. Oh, he was trying to hit him with flying kick spark. Oh, my goodness. Please kill him. Yeah. The lay right there. The defense on display. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Whoa. Like father, like son. Absolute. I'll drain him a little bit. As much as you can. You got both assists. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, Dragon uh, Rush. His combos look so, so cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. He actually definitely got like one of the most dynamic combos in the game. Yep, without a doubt. I like how Sage backs off, just not even apply that pressure so Dogo don't even have to spark. Oh, there it is. It yeah, forces yeah. anyway. Wow. Burning oh, a body. Good, he good. No more assists there for Sage, but. Ooh. Oh, man, that's so cheap. It's too potent. It's, it's too potent. Me. Now, if you're gangster, every time you see that stagger like that, just always match the 2 H. Oh, oh, you thought I wasn't going to do it. You forgot I had that, huh? A lot of people forget, actually. Okay. Raw super. We'll get that recovery back kind of quick. Kakarot! <laughs> Kakarot! Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, Open palm plasma. Look at that. Yo, what, the, what is that? The, the, the rapid fire? <laughs> yeah. Yo. Broly. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. All right, here we go. What's the mix? What's the mix? We might get a, 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 a reflect bait right here. Let me see. Yeah, let me see. see, 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 see. Well, not even. Double overhead, I agree. Mm. It's going to be the challenge right there from Sage. Oh my god. Uh, Dobro just trying to make something happen, trying to force the situation. Oh, just misses that super dash combo. Uh. Uh. Oh my Ooh. goodness. Oh, yo. You see him swipe? I'm trying to grab him. There up. Okay. Shot it again. Oh, spend all that cash Wait, right now. Be a time, yo. It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. It's done? Good. Yep. Look, you see the glass already getting done. put. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, you know this glass is crooked though. Yeah, that was a rough, that was rough. That was rough. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. <laughs> he was like, yep, I'm going to take my lashings and I'm going to get up out of here. The kill stage moves on. <laughs>
Welcome back to First Attack 2019. Me and Roman Ovar are here chilling for the Dragon Ball Fighters Tenkaichi event. Players trying to get those points, trying to qualify for the finals. We just saw Wawa, and now we have the other Titan of Europe coming up. El Padre. Indeed. So we are going to see some Android 18 action, oh, yeah. which I cannot be more excited for. Mm -hmm. And we're bringing back up here Odio Chaco, who we saw take out Crank Gang God earlier. Yeah, very close set between himself and Crank Gang God. Now he's got a whole different beast to deal with. When it comes to VGIA Shanks, hailing from Spain, of course. Put himself on the map here, and specifically in this Dragon Ball season, he was doing work last year as well. But man, he's really coming to his own here in 2019. Yeah, he's gotten a couple of top eights too. So, oh, yeah. I mean, on this tour, he's sitting pretty with a lot of these points. Mm -hmm. Just needs to secure some more. I think he's very much a strong pick to make top eight here. Yeah. But there are some killers that he is going to have to go through in order to make it there. Yeah, I feel like last year, you wouldn't be too surprised if he made a top eight. This year, he's a favorite to make every top eight he's at. So Shanks, again, tested himself up against Ochako. Again, this is a top 32 winner's qualifier match as well, so we're already moving along nicely in the bracket. Yeah, I think the first time I saw uh, Shanks really uh, make his debut over here more more so was at Combo Breaker, where we were commentating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and he made top eight loser side there. So really great to see him still going strong through the season of Dragon Ball. And we'll see how Ochako here fares up against the grand uh, father here, yeah, El you know, Padre. El Padre Grande. We shall see. Will he move up in the Damascus tier list after this tournament? We will find out. Oshako, of course, playing a cheat team with his own right. Right, we got GT Goku, Thanks base so Goku, cool. and then Super Saiyan Goku all the way oh, through. Oh, gets Super Dash on, trying to call out 17 assists there. Very nice, using that powerful smash. He already used the Super Dash, so he tags into the base Goku, trying to bait out a reflect right there. Nice, catches the tag with the beam assist. Ochako looking strong here in the opening. Oh, and a 2-H there. This is going to be some damage here on Shanks. Yeah, Shanks tried with the delayed up tech right there. Oh, nice. Locked him down with the elbow, so pop the spark. Shanks don't want to deal with that. I feel like this is something, this is all that Shanks really needs. Oh, and the early sparking here, too, from Otako. I like that, right? Both valuing momentum very heavily. Wow, I can't believe he ended up on the same side. I can't believe that Shanks blocked it. Oh, Shanks looking for that 2-H there, but Otako had backed off, and now he gets the hit here and gets the corner positioning. Oh, and then he gets the 2-H on Shanks trying to fall with the button again. That's twice now he's hit him with that. Has enough mirror to put him in the grave as well. Goes with the Kaioken. He goes all the way through, that should be it. There's actually a little bit less damage. Yeah, I like that. Because GT Goku has a uh, lower damage level one, he just goes into the level three instead, make sure the kill happens. Things are not looking good here right off the bat for Shanks, which I feel like we almost have a different player here right now. Ochako, a little bit less solid when we first saw him playing yeah. against Crank Gang God. It's like it's a whole other person. Yeah, I oh. show you the difference once you start warming up, right? He's looking very, very good now, but Shanks does open him up with the Dragon Rush. Oh, and just gets him with the standing low. And this is the shining star of the show here. All he really needs is for Android 18 to be out here. We're going to go into level three. There's no sparking to get out of this. Still not the same OP it used to have, but still very strong. Still gets a mix off of this. Most definitely. Oh, try to sleep behind. Did leave a vanish gap, though, and took advantage of it. Whoa, tries to swoop with a 2H. Maybe hoping that he was close enough to get her to block it, but he did not. Oh, Super Dash is in. This is going to be death here. Mm -hmm. Jump cancels into the light. And that's going to close it out there for Shanks. Even in a playing field, all it takes is this great character here. It does hurt a little bit not having the uh, Super Saiyan Goku beam anymore. Most definitely. El Chago still has his, right? So he's able to combo off of it with the auto combo. Wow, delayed rise. You know, making that 2M whip, but he didn't take advantage of it. Couple of whiff reflex, oh my goodness. Now I would really like to see Shanks here bait a lot of these. Oh, with the reflect punish though. My this man. could be a dead adult Gohan here, leaving Shanks only left with Android 18. You saw Chaku was not gonna abandon that strategy. He was just bagging up and reflecting, even though the first two whiffs finally gets the third and he punishes for the kill on Shanks' Gohan. Shanks is gonna need those Barcelona Spirit Bomb uh, emotes going off in the chat to lend him your energy, Spain. Mm-hmm. Right now, no sparking available, does have near six bars, does get it after that, and gets the empty low startup. 
Now the good news is here is Shanks does have seven bars, can afford this level three. Going to get some mix off of it. This is over. Bye. Just a hard knockdown. Got to keep your eye on the birdie. Where 18 going to be? Just goes with a double axe hammer. Doesn't even call 17 yet. 6M just to keep the hit advantage. Block that time. Doesn't even try to challenge. Got clip, but Shanks wasn't expecting it, so he just committed to the 17. Almost got that side switch there. Yeah. Good defense. Oh, oh, yeah, but he tries to cover his whip key blast with a vanish, and that leaves the door open for Shanks to 2H punish. Yeah, and that was a great opportunity for Shanks, too, to get closer, and now kind of has the life lead and bar advantage here. Almost. Mm -hmm. Very even. Calls up the 17 assist. Yeah, the life. Destructo disc. Life was near identical. Now Shanks was slightly. Oh, yes, it did. Trying to cover these whiff moves with advantage. Shanks is just lying in wait for the 2 H punish. Oh, man, that's going to be it, too. Dragon Rush into the level three. Shanks bringing it back after a rocky start for the first game. If anyone can do it, it's going to be Shanks. And I'm sure Spain. Definitely help there, lending their energy probably all over Twitch chat. Yeah. It was really a couple of those uh, uh, whiffed moves where he tried to cover it with Vanish that really got him killed right there. Two two ages from Shanks. And of course, you cannot give him those opportunities, right? He's so familiar with his characters. He's so good on his characters that he's going to make the optimal punish happen, and you're going to die. I do agree here with the taking the breather here at the screen. This might be the kind of, you know, a little bit of a reset for oh, yeah. Chaco. Yeah, get Chaco. that mental reset going, right? Yeah. Maintain your composure. And and he did. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, it's like we saw a completely different player here for a second compared to the first game that we saw Chaco play. Yeah, I'm surprised because he was doing so well that he switched the team, right? Taking out GT Goku, putting on the Bardock. I think GT Goku was actually doing pretty well for him, like on the team. Like I feel like that team ran smooth against the first game. He yeah, didn't I think, lose by that much. I, I think he could have gave the same team a shot for sure. Oh, mm, they ended up getting flipped after the Super Dash mix-up. Shanks, not thinking he would, just goes with the Dragon Rush and finds the hit anyway. Oh. Ooh, calls on 17 assists. You could not hit a button there, sir. Yeah, Ochako just trying to reflect, and because of that, Shanks lying in wait, punishes the recovery, and that's a dead Bardock in an instant. Goes into the grab, into the level one. That is death. All the damage he needed. And of course, because you killed the character, that means no scaling for this meter either. And he'll start building all of it again. And then he absorbs the beam. You saw how much meter that built? Oh, oh yeah. He absorbed God. it and got the DP assist from Gohan there. Wow, there's no good super dash afterwards. No team can't go Boston wow. like that. Ali used to himself off the Goku assist. Yeah, Shanks was ready. He was ready for that. Yeah, it was wild because he didn't even hit. Oh, Ooh. that's a beautiful extension. I forgot about that. And it's not every day you see that either, yeah. but this is also why Shanks probably will always tell you that this team, if you're trying to build a team around the Android 18, this is the team to build around her because they just all three synergize so well together. Mm -hmm. Wow, he even used the legs right there just in case he was predicting the key blast and Super Dash through it. That was so smart. Okay, the walk-up jab. Going to get that Dragon Rush off of it. Smash knockdown again. Yep, level three. Again, this is another way to reset the momentum of the game. Slow it down a bit. Put the level three out there. Get some damage and a hard knockdown. Oh, gets hit by the face uh, Goku assist there. Oh, it's lying in wait, trying to bait out a DP, but Shanks hasn't shown that hand oh. yet. And a beautiful instant air dash jump out as he lands. Yeah, that jump light. It secured it for him. Shanks is sitting on a lot of meter here. Gonna go to the Masenko into Android 18's level three. I like that. Bring Android 18 back into the fray. No assist available here, but he does get the hard knockdown in the corner. What's the mix? Oh. He's a cross-up jump medium there. And that's the thing. That brings him out of the corner enough to pose that as a threat, and Shanks takes advantage of it. A one character away from advancing. A much different story here in game two. Shanks in complete control the whole time. Maybe it just took a little bit of uh, time there for Shanks to find his footing against his player, you know, trying not to really underestimate who he's playing against no matter who they are. For sure. Very smart approach to the game from Shanks. I like that delayed uptick as well. Oh, okay. it does get clip holding up with the 2M. I do like the spacing here that Otaka was just doing. Backed off a little bit, and it's going to pay off here. 
not going to quite build that third bar there, but... Yeah, because of his base Goku, he has access to that like double level one super. I wonder if he was going to look for it, but he ended up whiffing right before he got it. Either way, that's not going to matter because Shanks has enough meter to put this base Goku away. Finishes the combo cleanly as well. Oh, yeah. Goes into level one. Into level one. And that is going to be it. El Padre takes it over Ochako. Yeah, going to be moving on to top 32 winner side, which of course is a no surprise for Shanks, one of the top eight favorites here at First Attack 2019. So we're going to see him more a bit later. Yeah, we'll definitely see a lot more of him again. I think he is definitely one of the favorites here today to make top eight. But we have coming up next, Subatomic Sabers. All right. I know, I know you're a fan of Subatomic Sabers. I remember when we were commentating at Combo Breaker this year, you were like, yo, it's my boy. Yeah, so I feel like every time I say that, he does poorly. Okay, so <laughs> don't say, I, I said it for you. So it's your fault if he does yeah. poorly this time. Uh, yeah. Not mine. My curse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember okay. at, uh, I think it was CEO, he came up on stream, I was with Damascus, I was like, yo, Damascus, this guy Subatomic Sabers. You've never seen combos like this man has. I know you guys got Shanks and Wawa and all that, but this man is OD. And then he just got washed, and I was like, well, you know, see, it'd be like that. You talked your smack, and he got whacked. The, the worst part was that he, like, dropped every combo. Oh. Like, I don't care if you get washed, but I was talking up your combos, and then you drop them all. Hopefully we don't see that here. You, like, mind-cursed his, I like, did. his uh, either pad or stick, whatever he plays on. I can't see right now. Oh, he plays on pad. Okay. Subatomic pad player. I believe an Xbox 360 pad player, once again. It's going to be a... Uh, yeah, we got Wolf coming back yeah, up. Yeah, both of them on the 360 Marvel pad. sign this time. Nobody flipped the cap around. Okay. Is that like uh, when you're... Like Ash? Like yeah. When he, like he's business ready? time. Yeah, the business time. Okay. He knows. He's got to bring the business <laughs> if he wants to be Subatomic Savers, that's for sure. Subatomic, one of the rising Absolutely. stars of Southern California. Always top three at WNF every single week. One of the things that Subatomic will obviously have to watch out for that we saw Wolf doing earlier is, again, that up tech. Uh, Wolf has two characters on his team that are ready to just catch technically three if you think about the GT Goku assist because it's a diagonal beam. Yeah, that yeah. thing will catch you in the air, too. So you really can't up tech against this team. He can toss you in the air from uh, Vegito. He can uh, grab you with Broly. It is just going to be quite the time, but we got a Vegito Mirror. Get ready to tap dance, folks. Oh, yeah. Gregory Hines all across the screen coming at you. I do well, like that Subatomic. Is this a... Uh, hmm. I was going to say... Subatomic, this is his main squad. Okay. I was going to say, he's still rocking the uh, Go Tanks. Yeah. Not too many people still rock Go Tanks. Yeah, that's wild, right? We, we see more Cell than Go Tanks as well. It really is. <laughs> what timeline are we living in? Yeah, there was a time where Gotenks was on very near every team, but that time has long passed. TA Wolf striking first blood here. Able to get that hit and take him to the corner. We've already seen what he's going to do here. Toss him out, toss him back in. Yeah. That is the strat here when you're playing. Okay. Almost got the hit there. Tries the 2 H. Saves himself there with the cell assist, but gets the hit. Five light. Yeah, Subatomic testing him early. Got the 6 M overhead. See, that's why I scaled pretty hard. And toss him back into the corner. Gonna get the Dragon Rush to get him out. Gonna get the snap here. Get GT Goku out. Talking about a strong character this season. GT Goku has been somebody that we have seen almost replace like how we were talking about Gotenks. Exactly. We see almost every team, especially on the top level, having this character on their, on their squad. That 2H from Gotenks 2, still so active. Yeah, absolutely, still. Dope hitbox on it, a lot of active frames, and now we're going to set the Ghost Ock. Oh, oh, no 2H, just reflect instead. I think Subatomic was surprised that Wolf tested him like that. Of course, it reflects starting up in one frame, while well, you need four to get that air and vulnerability from the 2H. Yeah, great defense here from Wolf, though, but not going to be quite enough. Finds an opening here, Subatomic Sabers going into the Beyblade. And that's the thing, because some Atomic Sabers will put you in such long block screens, he gets away with stuff like that, where he does the fake screen with no assist behind it. Oh, the blue beat did not take in time. He's gonna get that GT Goku right back in. Oh, okay, great tech here from Wolf. Tries wow. to super dash in. Great reflex, too. The defense on this man is wild right now. Oh, it's 2H, though, trying to vanish in. Yeah, committed to the vanish, but Subatomic was able to fall from the uh, beam and then punish because of it. Yeah, T.A. Wolf, I think he got a little bit anxious right there. Swan to start getting some offense of his own. He's been blocking for a whole long, lot of time against Subatomic. 
Okay, gets caught from the Broly Super Dash here. Gonna go right into the level three. Set himself up for some corner positioning here. Okay, Sparks. Yeah, tried to 5L. Yeah, overhead held vanish into the combo. Gonna have to watch out too while being in this corner that you didn't get fuzzy by a small character. See, how does he approach this Ghost Hoggy? He's just chilling. <laughs> he, he's like, he's like, come at me. Both players content to block it out. So the topic finally finding the open up with the overhead plus the ghost. That means he didn't have to use his assist till afterwards, and he's gonna get the kill on Broly. Yeah, gonna go into that super donut there. Oh, and it, it, well, he didn't have to really worry. He didn't have a lot to worry about when that ghost Oki was out because he also did like he knew his opponent didn't have sparking left, so he wasn't gonna spark out of it. What's he gonna do? Reflect when he sends them out? He got a time when he sends them out, right? Yeah, that's the thing, right? He just sitting there is very good for some atomic because he can bait out reflect, bait out vanish, or even just uh, bait out a raw attack, as you mentioned. Yeah, it's it's not as strong as it used to be, but it still is so good. Yeah, then we're gonna set it up once again here. I say that like it's a bad thing too. I think before it was like almost too strong. Oh and yeah. It's, it's still strong, but in a fair way now. Yeah, you know? for sure. Nice so, blocks. Shout out to the balance team because I've heard from a lot of players actually that this current uh, patch, even though we clearly have certain strong characters, that uh, this is like where they are having the most fun for the most part playing the game. Yeah, I'm definitely a fan of the patch currently. Oh, scream that him once he saw the reflect. What an adjustment by some atomic sabers right there. Going to be able to kill as well with the extension. Yeah, even Wolf's impressed with that one. How did he resist? Man, he responded to getting reflected with the screen beam. That was wild. Because he knew that he was going to commit with Vegito to the 5L afterwards. See, it might it might have broken this curse that I was the one that said that. I think so. Boy. So as long as you don't say it, I think he's going to be okay. Hey, I might have got a little bit too hype at the end. Who knows? Wow, the jump A from Wolf and then the extended horizontal range on that 5L. He was hitting him with his, uh, like, tippy toes yeah. almost. Like, it wasn't even, like, the full foot. Subatomic loves the down tech to age. Give him a hug. Smash. Oh, no, no smash on that. That actually. We have spark up. Get out. Okay, gets the hit there when he gets down to the ground. Yeah, Subatomic, I think, either looking for perfect attack or perhaps trying to dash out and go to the other side. Either way, I think locked down too hard. He's going to go, three. yeah, right into that final Kamehameha. And the hard knockdown, the spike being very high in the air. Wake up, reflect. No 2H on the tag. He was just waiting there. I thought that's what Wolf was looking for. OS right there after the van. Yeah, he went right into the five light there. Jumps up and goes right into the sword. Yeah. I think that was like the start of the 2L. Either way. Oh, 2M this time for Subatomic. That's a medium starter here. Yeah, those rings will still lock you down. You gotta be careful when you get hit by those. Oh man, and then we talked about the meter build on Vegito. That's gonna be enough to put down TA Wolf's own Vegito all the way through to the ghost. There can only be one. And that is Subatomic Saber's Vegito. Mm -hmm. Now he's got his healthiest character in as well. Some of that blue light's gonna recover on Vegito. I like that. Doesn't wanna tussle with the Broly at the start of the round. Has a lot of, uh, like, both assists here are diagonal for him as well. Um, like downwards, but... Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're we gonna snap? Yeah, we're gonna snap. We're gonna bring in GT Goku. Goes for the low. Yeah, based off the reflex. Some of the time he's gotta read on what TA Wolf wants to do on defense, right? Before this hit, when he got the hit on Brawly, just backed up and punished the 2L challenge with the jump key blast. Now he punishes the whip reflect. Takes the hit on the ghost, but yeah, some of the time he's been playing Gotenks for a long time. He's gonna know how to follow it up. Well, he didn't actually block the cell assist. He was too short. Oh, goes right into the Beyblade, into Sparking. This is going to be some damning. Yeah, I love that. Reading the hit early, just going to spark up to ensure the kill here. Has to use the Ghost to kill, and that's going to be it there. Down to his last character. Things not looking very good here for Wolf. Yeah, so the top, this is another top 32 winner's call match as well. Whoa. Sometimes with some fancy stuff right there. Trying to get a little bit too cute. We'll challenge it in time. Now the command grab. Yeah, the 2H right into the command grab. That is some beefy moves there. Going right into the level three here. Oh, the delayed one is going to get the mix up afterwards. Does connect with the mix up. Great stuff from Wolf setting up shop. And it pays huge dividends.
I really like the way he used that there. You don't you don't get to see that too often, I feel like, in tournament with Broly. Yeah. But it's always really exciting when you do. Yeah, he was super smart, right? He knew the level three when it comes to a combo wasn't gonna kill, so he just uses it to set up another raw hit. Trying to bait out some stuff again, some atomic, staying at that optimal 5L range. Yeah, he's like staggering them. Really good use. Alright, Cell Assist is out, goes for the jump in. Oh, he's blocking the fuzzy attempt. But didn't block well long enough. Subatomic Savers level one. Takes some down and takes it 2-0 over Wolf, and he'll be advancing in winner's side top 32. Good stuff from Subatomic coming all the way from Southern California. And I don't think that's the last, obviously, that we'll see of Wolf. Wolf nah. was, you know. Wolf did a really good job there, keeping his momentum, even though he was definitely at the disadvantage there. So I feel we had some really good moves he did with Broly, yeah. but didn't really get the chance to breathe over Subatomic Saber's Vegito. Yeah, most definitely, definitely. The in that matchup, it was the superior Vegito on Subatomic Saber's side. Yeah, and Subatomic, I think that's definitely his squad. Vegito, Cell, Gotenks, right? Two characters that we don't see too much anymore. I mean, Vegito, we don't see that much either. So it's just really the characters that he's gelled with the most and has put the most time into leading up to this event. And he looks so comfortable whenever he plays. Absolutely. And looks like we have uh, Nakiel coming back up here to play again. Uh, third, top 32 qualifiers, like we were saying. And I'm not familiar with his opponent, uh, Neural Arch. Neural Arch? Neural Arch? I, I've not previously heard of this player myself, but I'm interested to see how he fares. Obviously, the first game that Nakiel that we saw of him on stream, he was getting, um, he was definitely the more. I was like, he's getting player. his rocks yeah. off for sure. Yeah, yeah, Most yeah. Definitely. He, was, he was definitely <laughs> dominating that game. Yeah, it looks super clean, which is what Nakio needs, is, right? We talked about he's kind of underperformed at the Dragon Ball Fighters Tour event, so he's one of those players that needs the points, needs to come through here in Puerto Rico at first attack, try to qualify for the finals that will be taking place in France. So we're going to see. I believe he'll be also be at the Japan Saga event as well as the Spain Saga event. So he's going to be going to all the tournaments as po or as many tournaments as possible to get those points. Yeah, it's very exciting. I, I definitely do believe I saw him uh, tweet that he was registered for the Japan Saga. Yeah. So, yeah, Nakia will be there. That'll be a tough one. That with with being in the home of some of the deadliest Dragon Ball players oh, in the yeah. world. <laughs> whoo, that sure. is scary. You got Goichi, you got Tachikawa, you got Fenrich. Yeah, Kazunoko. The, the names don't end when it comes to yeah. how talented Japan yeah, you, is you at just Dragon pull Ball out Fighters. You just pull out the paper and it just goes all the way to the floor, right? Yeah, exactly. Like so you many. mentioned all those guys, right? And then we have like Mago taking mm -hmm. uh, taking mm -hmm. notice as well. A lot of the Osaka boys. We and then still Fighting Moke. Tuesday. Is Moke still playing? Nah. No, Moke stopped. Nah. Moke has moved on to we, other tours. So. There's um, who is it that plays Vegito over there? Um, uh, it was uh, Paco for a while, but I'm not, not sure. Not Paco. Uh, a different one. It was a, a while Vegeta? ago. This dude beat uh, Leffen with Vegito and oh, man. Um, Team Gohan. That was Paco, wasn't it? No. No? It'll sure? come to me at some point, I know it will. Right, I'm well, sure Chad already knows what I'm talking about. This will be Nakio versus Neuro, Neuro Art, as you mentioned. It's going to be USA versus Puerto Rico. All right, let's see if he can defend the home turf here against Nakio from this New York. Snack. Yeah, Nakio from New York by way of Seattle recently moved. Uh, I guess not so recent anymore. He's been there for quite some time. I think he's been all over. Uh, he even told me he had a stint where he was in Georgia for a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because he knew all warrior. about, like, when I moved there, he knew all about the locals there. Okay. The Gwinnett Brawls and everything. So. We're starting again. This is another top 32 winners qualifying match. Nakio versus Nero Art. Kid Boo looking like a great. <laughs> No, all purple squad for Nakia. Actually, he interrupted that GT Goku and then gets Ooh. past the stop because he was in the air. Can't quite combo with the GT Goku assist, though. I feel like the beginning of this is always evaluating your opponent. I feel like Nakia was just trying to find that opening, and he does. That was a great whiff punish on the whiff Rebellion Spear in the air. Oh, great reflect there, though. Man, you see Nakio adjust to that reflect, though. Just goes with a super dash afterwards, and then he lost the spark. He did block it in the air, though, so he wasn't so uh, eager to press the button. Ooh, Reflect Punish, though, with that 2M. Oh, that 2H, that's on. 
Oh, nice 2H this time though, canceling it, of course. Guard cancel interval to everything but anti-air property moves. I feel like, too, a lot of these uh, players that we see dominating the tournaments here, uh, our top players, they are always the quickest to punish these guard cancels that people oh. do, so you've got to really be careful. Yeah, Nakio always considering what his opponent's doing, but he didn't consider that to age. Got a little reckless with the top of the screen super dash. Yeah, I was a little surprised there. He had assists on lock, but he did not cover himself when super dashing in. But what? doesn't even matter. Are you serious? Nakio held the vanish for a little bit. Like he delayed the vanish so it didn't get the wall bounce and just comboed off the assist. Are you serious, bro? And then yeah, cancels it to the 2H off the 2L. My goodness, he is looking like a monster here. Gets the extended combo as well before he can even land. He's gonna go for the sliding knockdown. Not enough to kill though, but look at that. Zamasu hanging on for dear life gets jabbed over the head with that light. That jump light. Very impressive play from Nakio so far. It's clipped by GT Goku Bean, but finds that opening here. Will he extend the combo? Max range on that 5 L. Smash, knockdown, level 3. No. Just takes the level 1 and get the healthier character in. That's smart. It's going to be a little bit of damage buff, too, here, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Powered up level 3. It's going to take him out of the corner. But he's going to get some uh, OP off this. Yeah. What's it going to be? Oh. Now, if Nakia will have to change out there, it might have been a little bit of uh, trouble for him, but he did the right thing there. Yeah, it looked like an Arch press jump L, but it was like right when he was above his head, so it didn't actually make a block anything. Ooh, goes for the fight light. Oh, man, just locked out again. We talked about how good Nakio is at using that Gohan assist. That's one of the best assists of the game at taking someone from the sky to the ground. Yeah, with it being like a DP, it just has so much range. Like, vertical, vertical range. Mm -hmm. That's uh, some of the best uh, properties an assist can have. Obviously, GT Goku lending himself to that as well. Speaking of GT Goku here, he is getting wrecked right now by Nakiel's Kid Boo sparking. Nakiel with four bars. Yeah. Not even going to need all of them. Goes into level one, goes into level three. Going to close out game one here. Game one going to Nakio. He's in a little bro. Really Good stuff. Yeah, he's looking super impressive in the first game and as well as his first set that we saw him on stream. So Nakio continuing the momentum. Exactly. Once he found his footing, he was just in there. And that super dash in is going to get the starter here for Nakiel taking his opponent to the corner. Yeah, Bohannis is available as well. You know that lockdown's coming next. There oh, it is. And you called it. There it is. Oh, and then he just got caught. Maybe he's trying to jump. I didn't see any counter hit, but he did get clipped by the 2M or the 1M, I should say. Mm -hmm. And GT Goku assist was back up, ready to extend that combo, going right into the Kid Buu level 3. Yeah, I knew the triple level ones wouldn't do enough damage, so it just takes the hard knockdown, keep Kid Buu in. Okay, Sparking needs to get some of that blue health back from the Sparking. Yeah, he has no meter, yeah. Nagio had no meter to take advantage of that vantage gap there, so he tries to reflect afterwards. No arch with the proper read. Okay, sends the combo there with the beam, goes to the level one, right into Zamasu, level three. Oh, purple City Burn. <laughs> I haven't heard that before, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, cancels in to Adult Go on. I like that right there. Knew he preserved the dash so he can get the OP afterwards. Oh, Ooh, man. Finds the footing with that jump medium, though. Yeah, he was just parked on the down back. Neural arc, now looking for the instant air dash. Level up. He knew exactly where to be looking for him as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not something you see too much is the Masenko when it's closer it hit like yeah. that. And he still got clipped a little bit by it. Side switch. Great defense here, though. Neural Arch getting dragged to the corner with his Gohan pressure. Goes with the heavy legs. And now both assists are back. Oh, did not recover from that 3 agent time to punish. Oh, just putting the legs out there, acting as a wall. Right now, Adult Gohan needs to be the exterminator and get rid of the rat. Oh, this is a good start here. It's going to give him the full cheese. Oh, yes. No, drops oh, it. Oh, drops it. Gets hit with the... Yeah, da, 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 da. yeah, GT Goku does fall out after the auto combo grab. 
oh. almost enough to do a Genki Dama, but not quite enough. Tries to call in Zamasu. Oh, extended clips. Naki out with the optimals here. And he's gonna kill off the Dragon Rush to the end too. Wow, that was impressive. Still chilling with the sparking as well. Complete control for Nog. And the second hit of that 5L catches him as he down text buttons. Gets the auto combo as well. My goodness. My man, Just showing off at this point. Side switching. Snap out. Bring in Bardock. Got the hit with the jump light. Goes into the legs. Level 1 from GT Goku. Things are looking very good here for Nagi to move on to winner's side of the top 32 here at first attack. Oh, indeed. Man, these Gohan players are always looking to show off. Yo, GT Goku this time will finish the deed. Pop the spark. Level wow. one. Oh, yes. 2-0 to Panda Global's Nakiel. Yeah, him and Wawa, man, they just have these extensions and these combo situations that I've never seen before, and they're just so comfortable with the characters. Super sick. They're uh, masters of the adult Gohan. They are. They truly embody the essence of a Super Saiyan. Yeah, and as adult Gohan players, we very much appreciate that. Yeah, we really do. It's good always stuff. really fun. I one thing that I'm not really good at is how they how uh, and we saw it in the last set with Nakio is doing the different side swaps. Like when he's like going up, doing the combo, and then gets on the other side. That's I have like, never seen the auto combo side switch like that either. Yeah, that's like something that I've seen uh, local from Georgia Scott Vermillion oh, do a yeah, lot. Yeah. But I know it's like a little risky sometimes uh, in tournament setting that you could. That's like where you risk like potentially dropping. So you can show off, but. You know, we might not see it in a match, maybe versus like Sonic Fox, for yeah, instance. Yeah, so. I think that's a great point. Is that Nakiel's very comfortable right now, right? He feels like he can get away with some of the swaggy stuff that he's doing, taking a bit of a risk just to, you know, feel good about himself, kind of pump up his morale with the cool stuff he's doing. But yeah, up against somebody like a Wawa Wah or a Shanks or something like that, I don't know if we're going to see that. But Nakio is one of those players that likes to like treat everybody the same in a way when it comes to his game plan, right? His confidence level. So he might he might try that stuff. We'll see. Yeah, Hopefully, I think we will see a lot more out of him. Obviously already looking strong, trying to make it into the next step, which would be top 16. So. Indeed. So we're getting another match here in a minute, but for now, you guys are gonna kick it with me and Romanova here on the Dragon Ball Fighter stream. Of course, this is First Attack 2019, one of the last Tenkaichi stops in general for the Dragon Ball Fighters Tour. Yeah. So again, players are out here trying to get these points. Coming up soon is the Spain Saga event, then after that is the Japan Saga event. So we are wrapping up the tour here for the 2019-2020 season. Yeah, it's really cool to see the way that they changed it up this year. Last year was about all the Dragon Balls, and this year is the Saga and Tenkaichi events. Mm -hmm. Really great. I know a lot of people were really happy about about the change in the point system oh, this yeah. year. Um, and then we also will have the finals in France. Yes. It is to be determined, uh, right? But, you know, we'll see a lot out there. Last year was in California. You had mm -hmm. the pleasure of going there, right? I did, yes, yeah. Beautiful California, my homeland. Yeah, we got to hold the world finals there last year. But again, this is a world tour, right? So I'm a big fan of them moving it to France, moving it to somewhere very far away from California. Make sure that everybody gets the proper representation. And you mentioned that the uh, format switch to the tour this year. Yeah, if you're unfamiliar with how the Dragon Ball Fighters tour went down last year, it was all or nothing at, at all the Saga events, right? Yeah. You either got the Dragon Ball and you were qualified for the finals, or you got nothing when it came to qualifying mm -hmm. for the finals. So this year, of course, it's a point system. The Saga winners do automatically qualify for the events, but there's only three Sagas. There's the Evo in the U.S., and then we have the Spain Saga coming up and the Japan Saga. All three of those winners will automatically qualify. Of course, Goichi already did automatically qualify, but there's also a fat check of points related to those events that is, and that's how we're going to determine the rest of the bracket I think besides the last spot which will be determined by an LCQ at the finals and that is going to be really exciting too uh, the Spain saga I'm sure is going to be I insane wait. dude it is going to be insane you're going to be in the home of all the Barcelona guys dude, Spain, oh my goodness the crowd when it comes to Spain and a lot of the Europe tournaments in general are just so electric right so yes. I can't wait to see the Spain saga take place and the whole crowd all the players everybody back in their boys and the girls it's going to be awesome and I'm sure France is going to be exciting too yes so oh yeah oh yeah if, if I were to have the pleasure to go I would definitely uh, make sure to hit up some food spots, but I also I don't know what the food what the food game is there. The food right? game. So when I went to France, du fromage. when I went to France, like I, I'm a bit of a picky eater, so okay. I, I, I'm not like too adventurous, you know what okay. I mean? But they had I don't know they probably still do, but they had these bomb street vendors that had the oh, homemade okay. waffles with oh. the warm Nutella right. Oh my goodness, I was going in. 
Hopefully Nutella, we see some of that. Yes. that hazelnut goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speaking of treats, we have a team here with Android 18 and Android 21. And Cooler in the back and end. And Cooler. I don't know if this is a meme team or because I'm not <laughs> familiar with uh, Fox 971. But speaking of France, Ooh, yeah, he's a out here from France. player from France. So, you know, we'll see him at the finals. At the very least, if he doesn't qualify, he'll be at the LCQ, I'm sure. So we're going to get into it. Of course, TK Breaker we saw earlier. Rocket. So we actually see him going with the order we expect him to go with, right? TK Breaker bringing the Cell back on point and the Goku Black back to the anchor. He had reversed those roles last time we saw him. And this is real. Uh, I, very interesting there. And the cooler assist is actually going to land the hit here for Android 18. And for DP assist for the cooler. Oh, no! Try to grab him after the absorption on the Vanish. Oh, but that stagger there from Goku Black going into the dive kick. 2M. Yeah, that's a good start for TK Breaker. Down tech into the reflect. Able to get him out of there for a bit, but beam into the vantage. Right back into the corner you go. Yeah, stop blocking for a little bit there. Okay, corner advantage. Almost. Pass. Okay, vanish. No follow-up after that. Yeah, they didn't press the button. I'm not sure what he's looking for. I think for he just pressed the button though versus Android 21 there. Yeah. Bring him to the ground, covering the up tech. Whoa. I feel like Android 21 is a very underrated character right now in this game. Mm -hmm. And you don't see as many people playing her as you did at the start of the game. Yeah, most definitely. And it's funny because they did change the way her like ability still works, right? You don't keep them permanently now, but they did buff all of them. She's one of those characters that plays the uh, tag out method so well. Oh, yeah. She can like literally do it on her, on her own. So we got the guard cancel in here, bringing in Cooler. Trying to swing at him. Yeah, I want to see what this cooler brings to the table besides being tall. We saw him just getting hit with the instant cross up. Oh, oh and speaking of getting hit, yeah. TK Breaker finds his opening here with Goku Black. Four bars on deck. He's just going to hold on to all of them, though, trying to kill him this next combo. The up tech into the dive kick is a popular way to escape the corner with cooler, but going to get put right back into it, and there's enough near to kill him off this time. Yeah, he's just going to go with the level one into another level one. That's probably all he needs. Oh, yeah. With the buff made to that level one from Goku Black, it does a lot more damage now. So I say that like it's a new thing, but that buff was like at least like two patches ago or something. Yeah, but we still don't see a lot of Goku Black, right? So I think uh, that's a good, good point to bring up. A Shadow Blade buff. Okay. Gets the hit here on Android 18. But the Sparking is kind of saving her from here. Drops the combo. Almost got the hit, but Super Dash in is going to do it. Trying to find the reset there with the 17 assist out. And we are scrambling. TK Breaker dashing back and forth. No, he just wasn't watching his feet at that point. Yeah, found that opening with the 2M. It's going to be a dead cell. You're going to see level 1 into level 3. Tasty treat. Oh, yeah. Could have just killed with the level 1, but why not? Make him a donut, and that one is going to uh, be completely eaten. Oh, yeah, chocolate sprinkles all the way through. Yeah. The only thing that could have made that donut better if it was uh, the strawberry frosting with the sprinkles. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Oh, oh, I thought you had 2 H on his own side, but nope. You know, Rich, I thought the same thing. Yeah, right? That's what I thought was going to happen. No, take your time. At the very least, the old jumps out of the command grab the last second. Yeah. Fox knows. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh reversal this is going to be dead. Ouch. Good thing he didn't call his assist, because that would have been game. Android 18 does fall to the level 3, though. TK Breaker showing the reversal level 3 for the first time. I think we've seen all set, or all tournament. Must have been trying to press a button there. Got hit. This could potentially be the next set of death here. Oh. Oh, and that 2-H, that meaty. I don't mean meaty in the fighting game term. I just mean beefy. <laughs> Broly is the one beefy boy. Yes. Whole lot of beef in that ring. That's like some grade A. Some Wagyu. Yeah. Some top tier beef. Yeah. Some bulgogi. Some bulgogi. Oh, man. <laughs> Gotta be careful who you say that around. Oh, no. Yeah. Why, who? Not, not, not a lot of people like bulgogi, man. What? I know. I'm a, I'm a Bulgogi Bro, fan. Bro, I'm a Bulgogi fan. Give me that spicy pork Bulgogi all day. Mm. I, I like it. the beef Bulgogi. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can yeah. get down with that, too. I can get down with that, too. Right now, TK Breaker. Looking to see who's going to... Oh, actually, actually, 971. France. From France. Looking to see who he's going to bring back out. Looking like a Gogeta. Are we going to get our first Gogeta of the day? All right. I like it. 
This is a this is a pretty cool team actually. Team Gohan, base Goku of course on the rise. Both of these characters on the rise when it comes to the popularity. Team Gohan thought to be one of the top three characters in the game. Uh, and then on the other side we got Gogeta, who's okay. I think he's pretty good. I, don't, I feel like there's still no uh, general consensus really for this character yet. It's yeah. still pretty new. Yeah. And pretty new being legal in tournament as well. I think there's only been like one other maybe big event that he's been legal at. Yeah, definitely a, a few, few number of Dragon Ball events that he's actually been eligible to be played at. So we're going to see if he's got any Gogeta shenanigans. Of course, he's got the command grab, the quarter circle back S. Got to be careful of that. Pretty decent assist. I believe it's like, or it doesn't hit on both sides, but it's got like this, yeah. It's just all the way across the screen, wall bounce, kind of similar to base Goku in that sense, and has the wall bounce. His heavy reminds me a lot of Yamcha, too, because it's like almost like a dive down. Yeah. Oh, I like that delay on the uptech right there. Managed to avoid the knee situation that Fox was looking to present. Yeah, I agree. Okay, assists are down here, so he's gonna have to hold this in the corner unless he pops barking. And TK Breaker tried to 2 H that vanish attempt, but did not get that anti-air property frame in time. Wow, just straight up perfect attack, catches the uptech, but couldn't get the combo afterwards. DP! Yeah, the DP threw that. That was intense. Here so much blue life on the cell, yeah, so he wants to get him out. Tried to 2 H of the god there, oh, but not that's quite. Call Yeah, let's call him this fusion monster. Oh, catch out that blue light. Wow. H from across the screen right there. Caught him wiggling on the incoming. <laughs> Yo. He just oh. has these he has these two moves on deck with the Vegeta <laughs> yeah. and then Ace Goku just to shoot you across the room. Just going up with the jump H. So he's trying to fall with the jump medium right there, and he ended up getting clipped by the key blast. Nice delayed up tick again. I really like the defense that Fox is presenting. He's just trying to dash in with that jump medium using the three hits from it. Oh, no two hits on the other side, was still back dashing. TK Breaker trying to keep himself away right now from this Gogeta. Oh, back dash into the punish there. Very, very smart move here. Gonna build enough meter, almost. No, gonna go with the barrier to the side. Switch! Beautiful. Toss him down. He yeah. is out of here. Rip Gogeta. Yeah, I love the way the Vanish meta has really uh, evolved ever since the increase the backdash speed, right? A lot of the time now players just backdash out when they get Vanish. So because of that, they have opportunities to whip punish 5Ls and people just try to uh, oppress them. There's that BP2H again. Right into the level 3. And now still getting some help. Oh, wait, some of the DP again. That's going to be all blue line from this damage. I like the choice that he has DP'd once in this match already, but I feel I feel like you, when you change it up, people aren't expecting it as much, and you do get away with it. Yeah. The TK Breaker able to heal all that blue life with the sparking pop. Oh, Don't. it looked like he was even baiting it out for a second, walked back, but then jumped into it. DP again. Oh, oh the auto, auto combo. <laughs> Square. <laughs> Brothers and sisters out there, hit that square. An auto nuke. TK Breaker able to get to the other side. Oh, oh. actually clashed with the auto combo that time. Gets the raw attack. The combo out there, huh? A little bit too far to go advantage to bring him back in. Ooh, gets that down. Oh, he chased the back dash that time. Caught him wiggling. Gets the counter hit. No, nope, oh. doesn't extend with the auto combo. Yeah, that's going to be a heck of a drop for him here. Things not looking so great for Fox, but a great jump out again from that. Six that. No assist behind it. It's a combo. Super Dash is in. I like that choice there from TK Breaker. Okay, yeah, two is No, just actually punches with the jab. I like that. Not risking the auto combo third hit. So it is quite horizontal, so he just cancels into a 2 8. Because of the Kaio 10 here. Not going to kill, though. Going to be able to escape out of it. Tries to move and gets caught from the cancel into. Oh. Oh. Auto combo nation, baby. Yeah, reckless van from TK Breaker right there. Going to allow Fox to get the clean punish. Fox can still lose this match, though, especially with the Team Gohan down. All right, Fox is not in a good position again, but the 
I mean, one bar on deck, the hit. Oh, and that could have been it because normally that move anti airs you. <laughs> yeah. Super dash in. Great back off there. Wow. Guard cancels away. So anybody's game at this point? Oh, we oh, try to press buttons. I Not he, your turn. I think he was expecting him to like punish him for back dashing again. Yeah. That's what I was talking about. Man. The way the vanish meta has evolved, really, really interesting, right? Because a lot of the time, players will either OS dash or chase you down for the back dash. But this time, just pressing button, challenging it immediately. Ooh, and it's not a good day to be a tall boy here. <laughs> Buds in the corner now. Nose is available. Oh, so he two H's after the legs. Call him out for it. He didn't cover himself. The assists are charging themselves back up. What's he gonna do? Oh, wow, no. the auto combo catches both Broly and Cell. Gonna snap out, get that blue health away from Broly. Bring in Gogeta. Oh, couldn't quite confirm off that. That was gonna be a tough confirm with the, uh, Gogeta. Yeah, have to go with the first circle back if you want to convert off that. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. gets caught by the command grab finally. He's been so good at jumping out of it. Yeah, I don't know if he was expecting maybe the ball after that or something else, but... One thing I noticed that um, TK Breaker isn't really doing with his Broly, especially when he's in the corner up, is uh, trying to bait and do the, the fast down that, yeah. that Broly has. That's something that I see uh, certain Broly players use a lot, like uh, uh, ASAP Ricky. Yes. ASAP Ricky uses that a lot. This is going to be some damage and take him out. Yeah, that was great stuff. Using the uh, HS Super for Gogeta in the air to keep him locked there for the Spirit Bomb. Try to go with the, the, the invite hells, the grounded fireballs. Start off. Wow, that DP hit from behind. Okay, just trying to play patient here a little bit. Gets caught. There's that catch ya. He's going to catch ya all the time with that move. Goes right to the level one. They take him down. Mix him afterwards. Oh, the 2M. It's so good at catching raw tag. He did not convert off of it. Okay, got Gohan here in the corner, but Gohan managed to escape out. No bars to extend that, but this is going to be the opening that he needs here. Yeah, I really like how TK Breaker played that situation right there. Fox going with the up tech double jump to get out, but he met him in the middle, but can convert for the kill, though. Fortunate, does get the corner. Oh, tried for a cheeky reset, but up tech double jump out of it. Whoa. Tried to bait him there, too. Yeah, he's looking for the reflect right there. Gogeta's animation for reflect is super cool. Oh, oh, finds the opening. Cracks him on the dome. Let's go back to the wall bounce here. Oh, yes, full conversions. Look at these animations. Shout out. Go to Arxis these animations. And Bandai Namco. Wow. Ridiculous. Absolutely. I don't know how the animations of the game keep getting better, but they do. They just keep getting tastier. Ooh, that stagger gonna get him with the jab. Yeah, he's done a real good job of staggering the Goku Black pressure Fox. You're probably all familiar with the matchup at this point. Not used to fighting Goku Blacks nowadays. Yeah, he tried to get him with the uh, six six H. Not gonna quite do it though. Yeah, it's two M in the building. <laughs> Call cancel. Gets him out of the corner momentarily, but Fox immediately with the back tech. Nice. Does get the auto combo extension this time. Not going to build to two bars. The meter scale is kicking in heavily, but the raw tag will do it. Fox takes it after the switch to Gogeta. Well done. Hopefully we see him at the France LCQ if he doesn't qualify for it properly. I don't see why he wouldn't. Yeah. In from France, right? Yeah. Gotta show up to the Gotta LCQ. If you don't show up when it's in your like hometown, yeah. do you even do you even exist? All right, that's that's fair. That's fair. The, I, I'm a little sensitive to that because like California is huge, so people are like, "Why don't you go to Oakland, WNF?" I'm like, "Cause that's a six-hour drive." drive. That, that's why. People 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 <laughs> think that about like. So I'm originally from Pennsylvania, okay. like way back, and like. Being from Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. people will always be like, oh, like Philadelphia. And it's like, it's the same thing. Yeah. Philadelphia is literally 
the other end of Pennsylvania, see, six see. hours away. See, I'm I'm biased. I think all of the Northeast takes like two hours to get to. You. That's just how I feel. If you're on the East Coast, so yeah, yeah that's why I mean. had a short stint in Delaware. Mm. Delaware is on the East Coast. Yes. There, I could. It's get like to, all the way East Coast, right? Yeah, yeah. So I could get to New York in two and a half hours. Yeah. I could get to Philly in a half hour. Okay. I could get New Jersey in like under two hours. That's wild. That's uh, wild. Baltimore to me. in an hour. That's pretty cool. So Richmond we'll, in three hours. It was it was nice. So hopefully we see Fox over at the France LCQ. Yep. But for now, we're going into more losers top 32 qualifying matches. It's going to be Neural Arch, who we saw earlier, going up against Sinister Grin. Now we saw um, it was uh, Nakio take out Neural, Neural Arch. Arch. Yeah. yeah. We haven't seen Sinister Grin yet. The info we have, the intel we have is that he is also from Puerto Rico. So we got two Puerto Rican natives here battling it out to make top 32. Trying to get some of these points here at the Dragon Ball Fire Tenkaichi event for First Attack 2019. Thank you all for joining us at home or from wherever you're watching. We're going to get a break after this match. I believe we're going to have Sage Jam step in as well. We'll keep serving you some uh, juicy Dragon Ball Fighters matches, though. Oh, yeah. All, all throughout the day. Wow, I just noticed the ceiling in here. The lights are crazy. Beautiful venue in a beautiful country. Puerto Rico has been fantastic so far. Absolutely. It's it's humid outside though. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness, man! I went outside for a jog this morning, <laughs> and I I had my glass. What? You had to. I'm sure you had to come back take a three showers. Uh, at least. Oh, I took a shower before here. Uh, at, I you you can tell like you know us Dragon Ball players we don't we're not known for our stink. Yeah, so, definitely you know. not. Definitely not. Yeah, we're we're fresh. So we're even fresh. if we're jogging in this humid no, but weather, I, we're coming back. I went back. jogging earlier, and as I went outside, I I first had my glasses on just so I didn't have to put them away. <laughs> my glasses were completely fogged as soon as I stepped out of the air conditioning. Completely fogged, I could not see. I had to put them away. I was gonna say, yeah, there's no way you survive a jog in this I need like this window wipers. Yeah. I need the window wipers in, uh, installed on my glasses being in Puerto Rico. Clothes drenched, glasses fogged. But you made it, we are here in the lovely air conditioned venue. Oh so yeah, I like it. Here. I'm able to wear long sleeves <laughs> yeah. here to rock this post boy piccolo outfit. So we got Neuro Arch. Doing a good start already, has his opponent in the corner, and the pressure. Just committed to that 5 h sister Grim thought he would uh, end it a little bit short. Not so much, and then like combos the off the GT Goku. Yeah, and I like the side switch there, too. Keep yeah. him in the corner, always nice. And this is already a dead Android 16. <laughs> Just like that. Barely 20 seconds has gone by. The point carry there for Sinister Grin already in the grave. And now we got the Beers. What a team. Talk about underrepresented characters. Oh, yeah. Skeezer's happy somewhere, though. <laughs> yeah. There's a few. Yeah. Skeezer's one of the players, I think, on a higher level that we still see playing Beers. All of the left on the other side here. Oh, Super Dash was right away from him. To the back dash with the luck and the advantage. Very popular option here. Oh, great reflex there. Almost gets punished off of it. Clapped him up. Beer has got a lot of ways to maneuver in the air, right? He's got that like dive kick S move. He's also got the uh, key blast DP. A lot of ways to uh, mess you up while air to air in him. But either way, he's gonna get the dragon rush open up. Yeah, that was a very bold dragon rush, but I like it. I like it. I like that he was determined. He got hit by the GT Goku beam though. This could easily right here be a dead Beerus. We're gonna get the knockdown here from Bardock, level one, into Zamasu level one. I'm not gonna get to see what I've wanted to see. I've been saying it since everyone's been making the joke that everyone's been making the joke that GT Goku's a rat. Obviously Beerus is a cat. Oh. Cat be rat. Yeah, you definitely never gonna get to make that no, joke. I'm, I'm never really gonna get to, to see it, so I'm just letting you all know. It's something I've wanted to see and okay. I just haven't gotten to yet. It's the thought that counts after yeah. all. The holiday season is upon us. And that 2H, talk about a holiday season. It's Christmas here for Girl Art. Oh, you don't want to open up this gift. I actually got caught with the purple lightning. Yeah, he was summoned in the purple lightning. At least we finally get to see this. When we were watching uh, TK Breaker, I didn't see one level three from Goku Black. It's still some of the best stuff in the game. I yeah. love it. Oh, all right. That was looking a little crisp. Since yeah, that was, takes that was swaggy. Yeah. Sparking still active as well, so you may be able to build a lot of meter if he does find a hit here. Not so much. Now I like the vanish out. after that dive kick though. Did get hit by that dive kick. It almost looked like he was making plus after that, so yeah. his, his jab was very rectified there. 
Most gonna definitely. get the sliding knockdown, probably going to level one. No, he's gonna still hold it. Yeah. He's not sure if that would have killed, but gets caught by the five lights. Yeah, I think it would have put him on a pixel, so instead just holds onto the meter, but not gonna do him much good. Smash knockdown. Snap while he wants to get as optimal as possible level one. Oh, that's gonna be Yeah. Shoved it right into the ground. It did not actually hit him. This is gonna hurt though. This is gonna be death. Yeah, the power Goku going right three. through you. Oh, oh no, it scaled it yeah, though. Yeah, it would have would have definitely killed if he hit that level one. That scaling oh. hurts, but the Bardock assist just coming to ruin your day. <laughs> So one of the best things about Bardock is right? rise so fast, Rebellion Spear on the ground, keeps them standing as well. When you're in the sky, it's a great assist to call when they're trying to maneuver below you. We dunking today, boys. Goes right into the dunk there, starting off the round. 16, already doing more work this round than he did last. Six and follow up, yes. And the assist to back him up. Ooh, does not want to deal with this early sparking here to save Zamasu. Ooh, the cross up. That was clean. My man put his cojones on the table with that one. He was like, block the vantage, instant air dash. Good extend, bring out the beams. Ooh, I love the boss. Beautiful. Still just continuing the full combo at this point. We're getting optimal over here. Just some swag. That's beautiful. Put him on a pixel. Oh, the blue oh, beam. You gotta get out there. 2H, yeah. He knew that he was gonna run a raw tag, get that unhealthy 16 out. Doesn't have any meter advantage to get the snap though. You can't be pressed buttons when those assists are still out. Now neutral arms has the GT Goku is available as well. Try to actually use it for a combo extension at the end there. Ooh. Wow, Rebellion Spear, the teleport attempt. <laughs> That's the tech right there, just blaring it right through it. You thought your transmission was instant, but this Rebellion Spear's got a quick starter. <laughs> now Beerus back in, fully loaded when it comes to the meter, but he's just gonna tag him out. Wants the 16, but doesn't block the overhead. Wow, oh. versus level three, but you can jump that on reaction. Yeah, yeah this isn't online. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even after the flag, we hold up. It is oh. all up to the God of Destruction himself. Things are not looking good for him. He's to go through this line. He does it again. Nice. Better timing. Now he's going to get the level three set of chop. What the mix going to be? Goes for the jump in there. Okay, vanishes to get himself out of the corner. Goes right into the Dragon Rush. Probably a really good choice here. Probably wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Level three, we're gonna see how cut. No, we're gonna get the beer balls out, but five light right through it, baby. Yeah, it <laughs> we're playing like, Dragon Ball. It looks like he's trying to Dragon Rush, but he's still a block stunner from the, the orb, so he just gets five L for the death. Neural Art takes it 2 0, qualifies, and losers top 32. Well done, indeed. So that's been some good Dragon Ball Fighters action so far here at First Attack 2019. Thank you all for joining us here on Twitch.tv slash Dragon Ball Fighters. It's been me and Romanova bringing you the first block of action, but we got blocks all throughout the day. So if you're looking for more Dragon Ball Fighters action, do not go anywhere, and we'll be right back with some more action and a commentator swap. Stick around.